Uh, Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, session 56. It is the 15th of June, 2020. Please subscribe to Crywolf Conspiracies, our new upcoming podcast channel. Um, I'm Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. I'm Joe Monte. I can't remember his son's name. I was going to and say I'm thingy, you know, the, the Italian-American actor. Welcome to Starfinder, the... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Fallen. I will be playing Lyco Quint. He is an operative, uh, a, a sneaky, a spooky, um, not that cookie, marginally cookie, um, pretty cookie guy, space cop. Yes. Ah, oh, alright, you're done. You're done, really? <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting yeah. that. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, I'm Nico. And I'm Benzora. The best captain. Probably. Mm. <sighs> Hi, I'm Alex, uh, also known as Rodan Doherty. And I play Weird, the android mechanic. Dun, 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 dun. Zig! Oh. <laughs> um, hi there. Radiator of the universe. <laughs> hi there. I'm sorry. Hi there. I'm Calm. I'll be playing Zig, the Burning Sun, mystical space rat, used to reside in the sun and has some stuff to do and people to meet. Oh, you were doing a reference to that Queen song. Yeah. Seven Seas of Rye. So. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Starfinder. <laughs> Ryan's fragmented universe. Um, um, who remembers what I'm happened just last time? The fragmentation program on uh, the what? I remember what <laughs> the fragmentation program. The the the, 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 the fragmentation. Um, no, I recall there was uh, a boy. Uh, there, no, I, I recall conspiracy Craig who is Skittermander, and therefore. May or may not be a boy because I don't really know much about how they work in that regard. Um, Craig certainly a boyish name, I would argue. I, w- I would I would say that um, with some confidence. But he was playing four dimensional chess with mm-hmm. uh, with Ramasethu, uh, who wasn't actually all that concerned about the former SK uh, is Isabel. Isabel, yeah, that's her name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Isabel Fowler. Um, who it feels weirdly normal think? when you say it that way, though, doesn't it? Just like well, that's kind of too I normal. can see it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> who is uh, talked down from her zombie assassination rampage uh, after shooting Zig? Uh, because I mean, I feel Zig... like he kind of put himself in the way of the. I bullet. mean, he did literally put himself in harm's way. On the other hand, you know. What the fuck? Guns don't kill people. Zig does. Ah, uh, so gun, <laughs> guns don't kill people. That's guns with a Z, by the way. Um, guns, guns are people. Um, gu- mm-hmm. guns have human rights. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, so we all kind of fucked about a bit, then got back, chatted a bit with uh, with Furler, and sort of shared info with her and got a sense of what she thought was going on and she was very much in it's uh it's it, it's it's edgar wesland's grand conspiracy <laughs> and then conspiracy craig woke up and shot her for reasons that aren't entirely clear mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she knows it too much she does <laughs> that's it yeah cc takes off his mask and it's edgar yeah um anything else happen the folks remember full uh, chest, lots of catch up mm. shooting on the back uh, is it, was there anything else that happened? I'm not missing yeah, we all kind of shared most of our things that we were not sharing <laughs> I guess yeah. there was a lot of exposition that was good but it was yeah. in character exposition which was the best thing not like the week before that where it was just us talking about everything that still <laughs> had to be sorted <laughs> There's value to that. Hundred percent. Yes. Totally agree. Um, 
Yeah, anything else or are we good? It was Joe Montaigne, I was trying to remember. Okay. Aye. I was about to say Joe Montana, but I mean, Montana. close enough, right? Yeah. Probably wrong, but you know the guy. He's 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 the Italian American guy. So, if that is everything for the what happened on the last time of the thing, then let's talk about the goals and stuff that we do. So, goals. Ah, based on everything we have uncovered and shared with each other, let us review the goals. Zig, do you want to start? Yeah, so uh, this says, um, it did say it in a lot more words, but it didn't quite fit in, uh, and it was just like a thingy. So it says, confront the radiant supreme time travel, how much he knew slash knows. What that means is basically what it says. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask for one additional piece. Knows about what? <laughs> oh, yes. Um, uh, what it said at the end, which I just it removed just because be you couldn't see it anyway. <laughs> just everything, you know. He's. Got, I want him to info dump me. No. Um... <laughs> Uh, about um, how much he knew of like the events surrounding the egg, and like whether like how much he knew before sending people through time and stuff, whether he knew of when and how things were going to happen in weird time, jank nonsense. Callum, I've added text wrapping to the cell. So I actually added help. text wrapping to the entire sheet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> just no, it, it just literally there. there, yeah. Yeah, it was on, um, it was set to overflow for some reason, maybe because that's what that goal sounds like. But the uh, so overflow is the devil. Oh, overflow so I can is the uh, just... next uh, session. Uh, yeah, so, you know. there we go. Right. Okay. So confront the radiant supreme about time travel and how much he already knew or knows about <clears> events <throat> and when they happen. Who, so who events is so him? vague. Right, events is so vague. <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, that's supposed to be like um, the the events surrounding like Zig and Grace's babies. Okay, so does that mean if you miss one, you don't get the goal? Let's see, like try and narrow it down a bit so we know for definite when that's completed. Because if you talk about like you know some of that, does that count as completing the goal? Because it's the only stuff you cared about, or are you gonna like interrogate just over a series of months to get everything? Please, everything beyond that boat with Gracie's baby's done. Zig und Solar Egg. And when they happen, that doesn't make sense either. Sorry. <laughs> I'll come back to you. Yep, that's fine. Colin. Yes. Goal four. Yeah, I know. Um, and the answer is... I don't know. I want to change it to something more immediate, but I don't know what to change it to. I feel like this is almost... almost like what we spoke about last week. It is, but I haven't had an idea. Um, I mean... That's when you use the wonderful group messaging chat, so we all help with ideas. There's, there are a number of things that we could go for that are quite immediate, but... We do have a list, I'm yeah. I'm not sure which one we will focus on specifically, so I don't want to make a goal that I'm just going to end up changing, you know, next session. Mm. Um, what do you think you can complete quicker? I think is the better angle, right? What do you think the quickest thing to complete is? Well, I, like, I, don't, I don't even mean from the goal pages, right? I just yeah, mean... no, that we should, the, the, thing, the thing I think would be quickest complete that we should do or need to do um, is to recover the queen. Okay, why don't you have that as your goal? Seems too easy. Not that it would necessarily be, but uh, you know what? I am. I think we deserve an easy goal at this point. I don't think Ryan's going to give us one. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I will. I, I am quite. Oh, that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, Right. Um. Hold on. Right. I am quite prepared to 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 put that in, and uh, and we can because I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm just going to come in here. <laughs> to recover. Uh, the th Um, from 
Daza. Daza. Sounds like something completely different. No, it sounds like she's like uh, in the custody of some man. From hospital. Hot hospital. Hospital. Is it easier to write Naz McEcklick for some reason? <laughs> Hot spittle from hot spittle. Oh my god, that's awful. Hot spittle. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> that sounds like a, a town in the west, mm. right? Like just like a uh, western a town. Flash in sure, she is not rad mad. Okay, recover. Whatever that is meant to be. That's meant to be her name, but I, I can I can remember the spelling. Okay, then do you want to write it closer to her name? Um, um, I, I, I'll check in the name list first. Slash ensure she was not red mad. Okay, yeah, I think that's valid. Yeah, that's a goal. Cool. Uh-huh. Um, Thank you. I do feel like her name should be spelt correctly, but yeah, it's. I'm looking! Me. I can't find. Bottom line, bottom line. <laughs> oh. I think Andy could just have edited the goal, though. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to help him along, right? This is like a fucking a school project. You can't just give me the answer. I am afraid he used to pronounce it when he was very young. And when I say very young, I mean like, like nine. He used to pronounce hospital as hospital. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Which was very good. <laughs> um, my cousin used to call Wolverine Wolf Marine. And, uh, nice. and I'm like, that's a movie waiting to happen. I was gonna say it's Great. it's not actually wrong, really. Um, so yeah, valid. Quite I frankly, I knew a guy in secondary school who didn't know wolverines were actual animals mm. and thought it was just like a reference to uh, wolves, and he didn't believe people when they. Told, he was a clever guy, knowledgeable. I must have told. I must have told all of you guys about the time I started work for a company I won't mention, and the in the icebreaker round, somebody hit it with, "I only learned wolves weren't fictional last night." <laughs> oh, like, oh I can't have said that before. Yeah, I can't remember what you were saying. That actually, man. Like, I'm gonna I can't die. Remember thinking about that story. That will be my last thoughts on this earth. Uh, why would you that? use that? You've you just I triggered remember. me again, man. Because I remember you fucking saying that way back when, and I was completely dumbfounded by it. I was like, what? I don't think my face Something could have like been any more obvious at the real? time when I was uh, in the room. Just the other side, being like, what? How have you got through? I think it was twenty. How have you got through twenty years? Not coming across wolves as a real thing, but okay. I don't know. But I'm not going to lie, I feel like when Wolverine was actually conceptualised, I don't think the actual creators knew that Wolverines existed, because he's got <laughs> wolf-like powers, and like, but he's yeah. a Wolverine. Like, I mean, I, like, <laughs> he doesn't really have powers like any actual animal. He's got like dog senses and shit, right? I mean, like, he's he's basically got like wolf-like senses like, and stuff, I mean, like... like Rapid Most healing man, and hand senses, man. and that is it. I will hear no more about his mutations other than those. That's all there Wait, is. It's fifty yeah. percent wolf, fifty percent sea cucumber. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he should be called Wolf Cumber. Yes, <laughs> mm-hmm. I should be the Wolf Marine. Yep. Like... <laughs> yep. Wolf Marine, sorted. <laughs> wolf Marine is hilarious. James Cumber. <laughs> yeah, I think it probably is, but I'm not going to Google that. Um, right, okay, so sorry anyone that thought this would be a normal, well actually it is normal session I guess, not being on point. <laughs> Should have been here for the pre-game. Um, so, it was productive. It weirdly I... was. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, right, so recover Thanida. Perfect. Um, goal three? Yep. Fuck money, get bitches. Still want to We're going to pick up Denida, aren't we? So that's goal four. Yeah. So but I guess this is almost a, a 4.5 of make sure she's not going to be angry as hell. That's what Radman um, means, essentially. Yeah, but I mean angry at me, <laughs> aside from the radiation. <laughs> I mean... And that she knows her place. Wow. 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 I don't know, like, <laughs> what way you want to have that worded. Like, before she regains consciousness, have that question posed, and then like, let her yeah, answer. Go and unchain the woman until she knows her place. There you go. That's... Wow. Please no. Please no. <laughs> let, listen, I, I mean, you're the one that yeah, said I, it, really, really and it Colin just, works. like, insinuated and then um, slanderized. <laughs> no, because her, 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 her opinion my... was expressed by 
various members of this party do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions. <laughs> Speaking of reflect, <laughs> though, the, the values <laughs> of the Google Corporation. I am going to point out that I said that she needs to know her place. That place may well be above me in the hierarchy, and I'm willing to no accept that. No one has ever said a, no, no, at least another place is meant, and that place is really high. Okay, well, I am just... How high was that, the person so that said agreed. that, though? Because I could believe it <laughs> if that's the logic for using. Um, uh, uh, right, okay, so it's now goal 420. I see that. Understandable. Um, right. Uh, goal I just three, though. wanted to... Re- yep. Yeah, let's, let's focus on what it says in goal 3, which says, hook up right. with new junk rats. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was thinking about goal 2. Uh, okay. Goal 3, uh, hook up with the new junk rats. I still want to keep that Perfect. while we're on Hackathon. Goal, goal two. two. It's kind of been wrapped in with goal four to a certain extent. Uh, assuming we're not going to recover her if the boundaries aren't healthy. So uh, we just leave her there. So um, yeah, I feel like you could maybe put something else in goal two because I feel like goal two has kind of evolved to like include SK and now hasn't really and is lingering on the queen again. So I feel like you could probably put something else more pertinent in there, right, for you guys, because really the ensure she's not rad mad kind of covers the boundaries thing, in a way, vaguely. Um, Because there was um, some significant pieces of dialogue exchanged. Armstrong, because that's a stretch. (laughs) (laughs) Not fantastic, no. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, I've I've redone my goal, as learned what next Prime's role was in exploits. Uh, yeah, sure. Perfect. There we go. Um, and last but not least, I will get to you because I want to go back to goal five. Have you fixed it yet, Cal? Uh, so it says, confront the Radiant Supreme about time travel and how much he already knew slash knows about Zig's importance, in inverted commas, in retrieving solar eggs. Egg. Singular. Okay. It cool. doesn't say eggs. Um, right, okay. And goal one. Goal one. See, I'm 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 struggling. I need to change it, but I don't know what I want to change it to. Get a new crew. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Start a new campaign. Write this one off. Jump universes. Wait for um the Vesk to invade this part and take over the Scarion on the in Vesk. There you go. Yeah, the Scarion. That's right. Yeah. See, I'm not sure. I, 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 I was thinking about it, and <laughs> I was going to do something like recover Fanida and get in touch with Final Willa, but obviously we've got to recover Fanida now, so uh, that's that's a write-off. So I get in touch with else... Final Willa is a bit easy. It's a bit a bit cheesy, you know. I mean, look, I'll take a cheap win. <laughs> I mean, I will as well. But I'm tempted to just change my goal to go see Radiant Supreme. See a man about a dog. Yeah. See a slug about uh, an egg. Yeah. So we've oh, got yeah. um, see a slug about an egg. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's awful. <laughs> feels like <laughs> something Grinning Durwa would have said, bugs. doesn't it? <laughs> you know, you gotta just you know see a see a slug about a an egg, you know, and then people are like, what? And he just like takes another hit from his hookah. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yes, I, I feel like we've already had get in touch with uh, the final hour. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a bit too, it's a bit too cheese, oh. cheese, you know. Um, I feel like yours was fine, Cal. Like, I, I don't think it needs That's to fine. be serious. Like about an egg. I feel like I like the detail. Gutted, um, gutted, and gutted. Um, but yeah, I'm to get any good suggestions for the Capitan. El Capitano. Like, keep in mind, doesn't even something Zora gives a fuck about. It just needs to be a goal that goes in that slot, right? Because these aren't. Specific to you guys, these are just goals. Buy Zig a new armor. There we go. Uh, mm. I like that goal. As long as Zig changes to buy the captain a new gun. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the problem here is that you could jank those by just buying new armors and new guns and not necessarily better armors or guns. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I feel like the levels are more important than the <laughs> extra. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, what's the thoughts, guys? And I expand that to everybody. What is the next thing, right? So, right, currently, right, you're on Akaton. You have a S-Kate situation. 
you would have all the stuff we spoke about that's ongoing, right? Currently you think that you can get Snyder back, hook up with the Junkrats, work out what Nick's Prime's role was and everything, confront the Radiant Supreme, and what's the next thing he's want to do? Or before any of this? Mailing Tiger Hidden Wardrobe. Um, no, what, what was his name? Smailing... Grinning Durwa Hidden the, Warlord? The, the Durwa! Yeah. Grinning Durwa, yeah. <laughs> Grinning Durwa uh, Large Refrigerator. Uh, Grinning Durwa might be a person to speak to for wait so regarding the next prime situation because i don't know how far back that relationship goes but it's certainly somewhat far back so remember it's a negative relationship there i know it's a negative relationship but there are ways around that we can just kidnap someone he doesn't like and you know beat Mm -hmm. boot information that's how it works what like the new junk rats I mean, yeah, well, I wouldn't see to do that. It just depends what you, you think is the next thing you just want to focus your efforts as a group on. Mm. Like, what is the what is the biggest concern right now the group have? Quite a few. <laughs> right. So it's... we've got a few. We've got yeah. a few concerns. Right. So uh, name, name some of them. There's a potentially dead slash unconscious ally or enemy lying on our floor right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right. So here's here's the thing. What do you want them to be? Uh, I don't mean I don't... ally, but I was going to say dead and an enemy, yeah. so we can strike a win. Um, no. Uh, right. So ideally, you want an ally, right? So there is a potential goal, right? But to do that, you kind of know what she's going to expect. We're going to have to go get her body. Not only that, she actually or said... Or make she her, did... you know, live. Ah, she wants us to drop the eggs off at Grace first before the body. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Actually. Yeah. She, can, so... she can go in the car, run and jump and that, <laughs> frankly. Uh... Right, so that's the thing. Right. So there you go. There's a goal and a way to complete that goal right there. That's one. What's the next concern? Uh, see, I feel like retrieving Escape's body is a bit cheesy because I mean that's probably going to go hand in hand with Fenida, you know. Like, uh, I mean, also it's kind of um, Isabel's goal, not really your goal. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Keeps her happy, right? <laughs> but then, is the goal keep her happy, right? Uh, <laughs> I, don't know that I mean, I don't think that's possible. Also, can you imagine tonight? He's like, oh no, that's my body now. <laughs> I will sell Is it you. my fault? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Or maybe the Dude, radiation yeah. has messed up her ability to access the vault. Who knows these things, right? Um, but primarily. It really does depend on what the priorities are. Really, are we going to go find new junk rats? First, are we going to stay on Akaton? Or are we just going to ditch this place as soon as we get Fanida? Or... And in theory, you have three, three ships you could be using. I mean, we're totally going to follow Fanida and escape on the Azure Flare, right? So we can just be rid of them and just ah, peace and quiet last. <laughs> no, I mean, no. Could that not be a goal? <laughs> peace and quiet at last. But we've just established how to work with SK, right? Like, Isabel's goal will be about getting Grace's eggs back to Grace. Hmm. Right? And in that capacity, at least she's useful. Right. And in theory, you could attempt to rope in the Queen with her ship, as she considers the Azure Flare. Because that frees you guys up to go do something else, like stay on Akaton, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or go yep. to Versus, or sync back up with Alice. Do you know what I mean? And in theory, Alice is in orbit. Yeah. So there's that. Because, mm. like, you know what's going to happen as soon as you speak to Alice. There'll be a, a whole new five goals. So you may as yeah. well commit to these now. <laughs> always five new goals. Um, 
five new girls. Alice turns up. So I've um, I've dinered a lot of places on the way here. So if we could just lay low for a couple of years, that'd be great. Yeah. Maybe we have a couple of years. Who knows how much time we have? <clears throat> I'm. So what's... I'm not sure. I was going to say, Brilliant. like, I think, ideally, right, if you could have your way, what would be the next thing you'd complete in the game? Like, just regardless of the effort it takes to achieve, what is the next thing you would like to achieve? Because I know that Cook Out Many Junk Rats is a build-up to getting some kind of a crew, as it were, in the grander scale, right? Yeah. Um, you know, the outer haven, as it were. Right, it really is the attempting to build some kind of back end support or you know, back office support, really. So Which I think is important. And uh, I don't Yeah, I think it's really valid. We should skip it. I don't think we should skip it. I think it's a good goal really because it saves try. you guys able it means you guys are able to then coordinate on a bigger scale without always having to be in the place. Right? Yeah. Um, and we have a number of goals that sort of drag us in different directions. Um, and Akaton's kind of lawless, right? So it's not like you're going to have much in the way of legal problems here. Which is good. Mm. I put lawless in really, really big, bold, you know, air quotes though, of course. Because the stewards placed yeah, the solar system, obviously. But they sort of the the police are on a packed level. And yeah, they're not necessarily looking at the little guy unless they, unless maybe you're an absolute. Yeah, um, they are mostly in relief work currently, right? The stewards because of Absalom's fuckety by moment that it had, um, as per the the map. So, right, let's let's have a think. This last this last goal slot. What do you want it to be? Right, so. As as we know from the map, there is a fuck ton going on in the galaxy, right? Um, yes. So, what would be the thing you would like to just auto complete? Like, let's say every five goals you've completed, you could auto complete a goal, right? What would be the auto complete you would all want? And keep in mind it can be personal if it has to be, or it can be group based, or it could be on behalf of somebody else, right? But. Because I know there was talk of wanting the Queen to have been introduced to X, Y, and Z to be a force yes. to like Aragorn that all the might be a good thing to get done behind the scenes rather than having to do a fucking escort quest around the galaxy for her. Yes, that would be nice. Or the yeah. solar system at least. Mm -hmm. you know, also, well know that takes. Yeah, I was going to say, is the plan as well for you guys to reconvene on the final hour instead of the usual flare? Like, what is the plan regarding the two ships? Right. The final hour is ours, so... I mean, I feel like the final hour is a better suited ship for what's coming up. It's a battleship. One's a, a liner, one's got guns. Yeah, like, one, one has, like, holographic ornaments and the other one has yeah. guns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like the final hour is the optimal choice for the, the, the things to come. <laughs> to be fair, give a weird enough time and you could have the azure hour. But, um... True. <laughs> I'll make True. it so... Oh, dear. I don't know. The I, I do feel like there is still a lot of merit to the first goal because we're still running about like fucking peasants. But the queen has loads of money. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but I mean, I don't think she's going to bike as very much. <laughs> Why not make like right? So you've got recover the queen possible, and sure she's not rad mad, right? And you've obviously got this, you know, you want some kind of income. So you want to be more self-sufficient in some way. You want some more, you know, financial weight behind you guys. Like, what? how would you get more money? It would be nice not having to, you know, go to every scummy guy on the planet mm. whenever we need a quick buck. <laughs> why is it I feel like you're talking about Bob? Uh, <laughs> uh, Bob and... Grinning Durwa. Grinning Durwa. Oh, uh, I mean, dear. <laughs> In, in different ways. Mm. I mean, Grinnin, Dorla, Edgar, Q, Bob. Has there ever been a time we've not worked for a sleazy man? Even, <laughs> like... that, even that dwarf mafia guy from Versus, right? Like, yeah. Even him. Yeah, I don't remember his name, sadly. Um, uh, 
I really don't. But he had a name. He's the one that helped you set up Carhole. But the question is, is how the hell oh, do we God, even do that? that? I remember that. Because we've kind of tried that. I've used the well, word, we like... Well, we did have recruits, not, right? I mean, not we didn't silly really have... have... Yeah, we didn't, we didn't have bodies to keep working when we weren't present. So it was all on us, and when we fucked off, it fucked up. Well, let's, let's take a very brief account of what you have access to asset-wise, right? Um, somebody maybe want to put this on the Excel sheet somewhere, right? Let's clean up the Excel sheet and see what we actually use, right? So we're keeping session tracker and goals. Uh, scheduling didn't work, so I'm just going to delete it, right? Like, let's, it's gone. Like, yeah, it's gone. Was... Uh, the eleventh hour, the final hour, combat uh, tracker. We use the combat tracker, don't we? So we'll I that. use the combat tracker anyway. Uh, yeah, for, with my spell slot to, machine. We have, at the time. we have the timeline, and um, I think currently we're in the future. Um, right now, on uh -huh. the timeline tracker. Um, template two is just the the nice little inventory thing we made. Um, I see we loosely. I haven't got... really put anything in. I'll need to go and put we've... stuff in the timeline. We've got the shopping list, then we've got every these individual like things, which I feel like the final hour in the there should maybe be closer to. I'm going to move some stuff around. So let's move that in. Uh, that way. And then... Yeah, so all of them are things. We've got the old party gold uh, with that horrendous work of art. <laughs> um, right, Lovely. so... Let's make a, a new tab, right, and we're just going to call this, oh, I can't spell, assets, right, and I'll move this all the way back to um, in front of the 11th hour. There we go. Everybody see it? You are. Right, so you can make this as pretty or as normal as you'd like, um, but let's take stock, right? You've got the final hour. Mm -hmm. You've got the Azure Flare. And you've got the eleventh hour. Right? Are we down board with this? I see very little yeah. tapping in the well, assets. Azure Flare is sort of ours. Uh, can we consider one of our assets? Oh, well, here's like, the question. See if you don't. Why waste time with the Queen? Do you know what I mean? Like, because this is like a. You do currently have access to that, right? As as we stand right now, you could work yeah. on keeping access to that, or you could cut your losses and not. So that's a very valid point. Like, do you consider it an asset or not? Do you want it as an asset or not? Done. Um, so, right, you've technically got those ships, and we know that the final hour and the uh, the Azure Flare both have shuttles, each, right? So they all have like a shuttle in them, but that's you know just additional transport. They don't really do much in the way of jumping very far. They're just for landing. So there's the immediate assets. This, so these are like you know bigger, grander things. Um, CC is technically an asset at the moment. Yes. Right. Uh, also, okay. he has a warehouse. Uh, I would say underground layer. Sure. Um, feel free to say that if you wish. Um, and I'll take us to the map where that exists. <laughs> and that was in uh, <laughs> Booster City. Right. Booster Gold. <laughs> Let's not uh, have some uh, 3DC uh, highlights. Statehood for DC. So. Booster City, it's a thing, right? There we go. Um, what else she's got? Uh, so you've got the Queen, right? If we're going to name people as potential assets as well, right? I don't know if that's you, Bella. It's not, but you know. But then she also has her palace. On like secret island in Castroval. Uh Thank you. It's still wrong, but that's fine. No. Yep, right, so I... Let me 
and just um, fix all this somewhat. Right. What else have you got? <laughs> do, you, do you use count Isabel as an asset currently? Probably not, right? Uh, probably not. Could she is complete. But that comes with a price, and you know that price. So mm -hmm. that's a thing. And obviously, um, it's the 11th hoot. Uh, let me fix that. Hoot! Hoot! Oh, I can't need Add a wee cheeky bracket. There we go. Um, right, what else is there? Besides uh, the grudge. It's fucking very grudgy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I can see, okay, man. Um, um, car mm -hmm. hole. Car hole, yeah. right, on versus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, so we've got <laughs> shit. Well, let, let's put it down. Let's insert a space there because we've got people, you know, right, shit, yes. people uh, and car oil. Um, that's mm -hmm. actually, you, ju you just wrote it how a Frenchman would pronounce it, Zeg, so that's fine. Car oil! I mean, no, but okay. Car hole. Because wouldn't that be a bus? I don't know. <laughs> Carl. Carl. <laughs> I swear to God, if it's Carl. Who changed? Whom's Callum Blaine? <laughs> Sorry, I have doxed you. Right, okay, it's fine. So... Carl, oh jeez, do you know what? I'll leave. I'm done. <laughs> That'll do. Now, do you want to see for this, right? So you've got obviously ships, oh. people, and places, right? Um. I would definitely say places, because um, you might want to then put CC's underground layer and then the palace in the places section as well then. Um, it is fairly legit. I would it's sort of like an extension of the people, like that's part of like what they're, you know... They're not directly like. our assets, they're... The assets, the yeah, like, with the yeah, assets. like it's it's the unlock, like, right? For instance, we could also <laughs> add in like um, vast network work. Fuck me. A vast All network of fuck me. This is the dating cycle. Things. I'm gonna fix um, that unhappy face to um, tech needs repaired. Mastery in. The online sphere. Uh, I just realised that because I'm editing it, as soon as I jump out of it, it's going to overwrite whatever you've just done, right? Then just click out of it, then if it does change, undo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very true. <laughs> I like... Ivan, infinite possibilities. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna put his full title in though. King Ivan. <laughs> King of the Oofs. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, right, so we've got ships, final hour, 11th hour, Azure Flare. Peeps, we've got CC, Ivan, Thanida. Um, is it worth adding in other people you consider assets then? Because do you consider the Radiant Supreme an asset, right? Like, if we're going to put it that way, then Mister Babak would definitely be a fucking yeah, asset. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not what I meant to do. All right, um, is that how you spell it? Uh, it's a Babach. I can't remember. Uh, Pretty sure it was a key. There you go. I feel like I have an NPC list for this. Let me go see if I can find it. If there's actually an NPC list for this game, because I feel like there is somewhere. Uh, Starfinder. And. Hub. And. NPC list. Ah! Right, so let me just. Um, Dump this in our chat here, right? Let's go have a look through this and see who we forgot about. Suppose you need to put Alistair on the people list, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. The team. 
I mean, he's part of the crew. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Weirdly wow, defensive that's... of Alice all of a sudden. I like it. But no, it's it's seriously, I, I, I would count her as a crew member rather than... Good. Um... Also BRB. No. <laughs> Officer Dale, I guess? The guy that, you know, was on site when your limo was wrecked? Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a name I never thought I'd remember. Um, I oh, miss but that NPC list was last Old Man Guns. on the 29th of November, twenty eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, that that wasn't what I would call helpful. Um, hmm. <laughs> right. What else have you got? Right. Maybe I'll move us back to the um, Yield Galactic map, or solar system, I guess. Galactic. Galactic. Mm -hmm. I'm still really trying to figure out, but how to... No, okay, so, the... people for you, I, Mr. Vesk, you should be adding something to that list. Miss Marva. Mm -hmm. yes. The Event Horizon herself, yep. Is it like, is it like that? Is that how you spell it? Or yeah, is it no, just Matva? It was just Matva. Matva, cool. I know that Matva. looks like how I would spell it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, can you mind you can search in Discord, by the way, um, for things? I'll just repost her name. But I'll just actually do that. You can fix the editing. I suppose actually I could probably just fix that now. Um, paste as normal, isn't it? Could have to saying so. Nope, not format only. There we go. Because what are names? What are names? I'm back. Right. I'm back also. Right, cool. Welcome back. Um, right, so you got Matva in there as well with potential Obsidian Star support because she did give you the ship, so mm -hmm. that is a thing. She did also offer manpower, but I said no at that moment because it would just not look great. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, would he count? Yeah, I think so, right? Like, I mean. Oh, it, sorry, specs are an issue. Because, put it this way, I think if you went to him, if you went to him, if you think you could get him... Specs are no longer an issue. Okay. What about, what about hearing? Can you hear us, though? Yep. Cool. So, Nazma like, do you think if you went to him, he would help? I think he would ask for money, but I think he would help. Then, put him in the asset list, then? I mean, what is he doing? Right. He's running a clinic at the moment. Right. Yep. So a clinic which happens convenient. <laughs> how how how? <laughs> nah. Naz. B b b naz. Mcgleg. Uh. Let's see. Am I even able to remember how I spelt? Um. Where would I, where would I have posted Nesma Kicklick? Um, I would have thought character it would have been... art, probably. He would be in character, I'm sure, because he shared a picture of you. Let's see. Search and Nes. Nothing found. Interesting. Um. Weird. Let me scroll up then, and we'll see if I can find him. Because he was pretty early on. He was. He was in Absalom, so he must be. Yeah, because it was in that, like, the first day... 
be about session nine or ten, maybe. Um, okay, let's see. Scroll down through some of our pretty excellent art. Lots of mice. Nah, I've already. Oh, it's old man Gunston. <laughs> Indeed, right. Um, I mean, he was around the same time as Guns, wasn't he? Surely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was around about the same. Yeah. Oh, maybe like a session between us, but definitely similar time. They may even have been. Uh, yeah, they may even have been the same session because um, that was when I first buggered off. Uh, let me just start writing Nasma Keklik down enough to see if it can be Nasma Keklik. Probably something like that. Yeah, you're not a million miles away from it. I'll just put that in there. And if I can, I'll f there's a note somewhere with it. Let's put it that way. What the fuck have I done? Ah, there we go. Yeah, because he was definitely working on all the um, weird Barai stuff that was going on with you. Versus has a capital V. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, right. So based on this, right? Is there anything else we're missing that you think we need to like? Add in here. Um, uh, because with the queen, you could possibly add in re reunite the draw, right? Then well, you, then you have, we don't know if that's necessarily something she's going to be able to achieve. But then you don't technically know that asthma calculus will actually help you with medical knowledge. I guess no, just but we know it. he has. I mean, you'd hope, yeah. I guess so. Um, like this is stuff that you know we sort of we, we were I, I had originally written somebody changed it but or maybe they didn't see I was writing I'd just written some different commander Babix about like you know he'd, he'd have fairly high level information and he would at least be a contact I didn't necessarily say support because they might not be eager to get their hands dirty well, I mean steward support is he is one of the stewards so really anything he does for you would be steward support yes maybe not officially though yeah you know um, so I, I, I think like um, I mean that's obviously it's fine but that's, that's, that's why I was phrasing it as something broad, uh, sorry, uh, more specific because I think church support does sound a little broad but that's, that's fine. And, and talking um, about broad things as well um, talking about broads we do have a very narratively untouchable asset unfortunately within Aspis yeah uh Emma? <laughs> or Ed? <laughs> no. Evelyn. Oh, Evelyn. yeah, yeah, that's true. True, true, true. Right. So if we're going to stick but with, like, say... yeah, if we're going to stick with, like, what thematically you would have access to, that's still up in the air at the moment, right? Because you don't know, A, why she's been, like, supposedly positioned there according to Isabel's conspiracy theory, right? Um, she's obviously been put there by Edgar, according to Isabel. Um, but I actually said it first. Okay, sorry then. Like was <laughs> conspiracy. That Isabel <laughs> was 100% on board with. Um, no, yeah, I mean, she basically was sort of planting the seeds, but Lyco did sort of for verbalize it first. Um, so, like, that is a thing, right? Um, but yeah. Yeah, but I mean, would we even be able to contact her? Exactly. So, yeah. um, but that does leave that there are two other people you are at least aware of, excluding Emmeline. For Aspis, which was Emma O. Narakas, and also Meng Po, head of personnel, who took Emlyn. Because remember, Emlyn was technically going to be um, an asset over there, as it were. So, yeah. And again, anything else do you think needs to be on the list? Because, I mean, Radiant Supreme is not on the list, so do we not consider him an asset? Liability. <laughs> I mean, it, it could be, right? Like, It's a good question, because would the team necessarily take Zig's view that he's sort of a... I'm not quite sure what Zig thinks of him, but... Now, keep in mind, two of the good. team have seen more of what he is capable of than Lyco. Yeah. Given the, yeah, the graduation true. day part two, or Redux fight, I'm... 
with his ability to just incinerate people. Not survive like a chest, you know, wound or anything, but like, yeah. So, mm. what was um, like weird in Zora's views on the Radiant Supreme? Also, what about Grace? <laughs> Why is Grace not on here? Like somewhere as well? Like, um, because there's maybe liability is a good one to have, but uh, as a list. But like, what else? Is Grace? I mean, is that someone we would be able to call on? Who knows? Certainly, someone we're intending to sort of get to. Yeah, it's interesting, right? But that's one of those things that maybe that's worth pursuing as well, right? But it does seem to be that if you plan on trying to use Isabel in some way, then yeah, maybe you need possible assets as a list. Um, yeah, okay. And then have a uh, Isabel <clears throat> and Radiant and Grace on there, maybe. Um, I guess Edgar could be on that list, really, right? Yeah, possibly. Because this is if you assume. <laughs> that Isabel's on the money with her weird conspiracy theory. They very possibly, yeah. Right, I mean, all that could just be completely BS. It could. It was definitely convincing to Lyco. To me, it seemed a bit neat. Even to me as Ryan, it was quite convincing, you know? But, <laughs> who's to say? But yeah, so, there you go. Like, there's our list of what you guys have. Currently, as it were. It's not bad, really, right? It really isn't bad at all. It's, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. So, what are you going to use to do what, is my question, based on what you have already? Because you're saying that you don't have much in the way of um, infrastructure, as it were, but you've got a potential base of operations here on Akaton and Castreval already. You mm -hmm. already have one on Versus. We... That's a triangle right there. According so, to the picture. <laughs> here's the thing I'm thinking. Babak and Matt Favlarnal is a, are yes. both um, concerned with Demogesh? Demogesh, yep. One, yeah. And his presence at the time on Versus, but still there'll be a, no doubt there'll be a Vesk presence, right? They've not abandoned that. Yeah. Um, so Babax gen generally was concerned about the Vesk being doing there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so even with him elsewhere, um, there's definitely the, the Vesk influence and military presence on Versus. Um, they're both important people and people who might be worth looping in on the emergence of a new drow queen a new old drow queen mm -hmm. um, CC CC, in addition to them, they both pr pr probably more Babak than, than Matva, because I, I don't know how the draw are for, you know. I mean, their idea of diplomacy is Nico, so. Mm, um, <laughs> I, uh, Such shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Um, then we will fight them in the shade. Um, CC might be. His communications operation might be a good way to get out the word, which would help us accomplish our sort of. Uh, not goal at the moment, but our promise of assisting her and sort of reasserting her presence. Mm -hmm. Galactically. Um, yeah, because you could do like a big um, like solar system wide PR campaign, right? If you mm -hmm. wanted. And it could kind of be a, you know, where is Jessica Hyde type thing, only who is Psenida, right? So my thinking is we place, we plant the seeds through CC and his contacts, we, at some point, travel to Versus, assuming Babak is still there, we'll speak to Babak. Um, you could probably, like, between you and CC, you could get in touch with Babak, if, like, from where you are. Fair, fair. Right. Would like to want to. Correct, yeah. 
I mean, yeah, he'd probably be willing to put his trust in CC at this point. <laughs> that is re- I love that. Like, at this point, based on everything I've seen of CC, 100% convinced. Oh, because he's completely mad. He doesn't see him as like like mm-hmm. an enemy actor. He just sees him as nuts. Mm-hmm. Um, possibly like on a like species level. Um, but what we have there is is I I probably I'd probably difficulties in contacting Matva via him. I would think that the Vesk would be less contactable. I mean, because they're not from the same system. They don't. Technically, you know, they, probably don't... they are. CC is a Scarmander, and Scarmander are part of the Viscarium. True, but he is working with within the Pat worlds, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So his framework and what have you. But I mean, you're right. That's a fair point. I really should consider that yeah there might be like a an element of well as a skittermander he knows his way around vesk sort of vesk cyberspace mm-hmm. uh, and could find the contacts and what have you i feel like that would maybe be he knows how the to the technology that's what it would be called <laughs> the warframe <laughs> the warframe <laughs> <laughs> the vesk internet uh please don't copyright strikers whatever company makes that game um so I think we definitely have the capacity. I mean, we might not have to go to Versus. We might be able to use CC to specifically arrange this and perhaps channel some information to Babak regarding what Matfa has told the captain mm-hmm. ages ago, but never mind. Um, <laughs> that might be able to... like We might be able to use CC then to help us move forward with Babak and Matva, not complete a goal necessary necessarily because obviously they're not current goals, but um, it could be though. One of them could they would be. bring yeah, but um, even then it wouldn't really necessarily finish it. It would just bring it closer to completion by bringing them up to date with the current situation. No, or there maybe. is there is a full power right there. Goals aren't necessarily um, <clears throat> as all encompassing as that. They don't have to be right. For example. You want to have people you can rely on an Akaton as a goal, but really, yeah, I know, I know. get in touch with the junk rats is the um, the first yeah. step of that. So you could easily do something like you know the first chunk of that with either Baba. No, or I, I know. I'm not. I'm not being about like an actual mm-hmm. systemized, you know, system that. You know, I'm not talking about a goal as like a unit of getting towards the next level. Um, I'm talking about like the idea of you know contacting them isn't an end in of itself. Mm-hmm. It's in order to achieve something else. Agreed. Um, so we could use CC to advance things with Babak and Matva and bring us pretty close if he can contact enough people. Maybe put us like on the way to completing our obligation to the mm-hmm. yeah. Um Which might make her actually more useful by legitimizing her, mm-hmm. giving her a sort of presence, you know, so that she doesn't have to go around memory braining people. Um, yeah, because that's the next thing, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so maybe she can, you know, pull more of a royal weight. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing is, like... So the my question to that would be to what end, right? What would you ultimately like her to be able to do for the group? I think is a good thing to focus on, right? And this is a question to everybody in the chat here. So what like getting her back to being a queen, for example, right? Or politically important in some way in the galaxy, right? What's it gonna do for you guys? What's the what do you want her to be able to achieve for you guys or to make easier or whatever? Get the drug on the right side. <laughs> Or at least keep them out of our way. Yeah. Make uh, sure they don't start jumping in bed with fucking Mr. Hamani again. <laughs> like, also, like the um, like there's a lot of uh, arms dealing done by the Drow as well. Um, mm. Like various a uh, black market arms trade done through them. Could be my source of income right there. <laughs> but they are um, in their slightly disorganized uh, state. They are somewhat pirate-esque in their um, ways 
you know, very prone to things like industrial espionage and such. Mm. So yeah, like having them reunited after some slightly more noble queen, you know, might not yeah. be the worst thing. But that might it's maybe also a big ask as well. Probably as a big ask. I mean, it's like telling people we change our nature. <laughs> <laughs> well, like 200 years, 300 years, well, however long the rule has been. I mean, it could easily be something along the lines of uh, maybe not everybody's happy with the status quo when, you know, you draw land, right? Like, it might, it might be. Um, so, yeah, that's maybe something worth approaching, yeah. But, um, the pirates, back the pirate days, that they might be pirates. So there you go, right? That's a thing that you could have with uh, Snyder. Yeah. Um, as for ships, you just want to relocate to the final hour, and reaching out and contacting them is a good idea, having to see if they're in orbit at all. Then you've got the 11th hour, I think we can say that that is definitely an asset that could be back in the game, so long as yeah. you, you just do that, right? You just need money to fix that. Um, so yeah, money is going to be needed. I think you're right, a source of income is definitely something that is required, but whether or not Akaton is going to generate that, unless you don't know, you sell an egg to somebody, right? What uh, about if I change my goal to just <clears throat> find a suitable source of income? <laughs> <laughs> now, is this to fuel this mini empire user building, though? Like, because obviously a suitable source of income blanket statement is vague. Uh, uh, I mean, essentially... Like, name something like, to fund, is what I'm saying. So we know it's complete. And obviously other people can lobby suggestions into there with you, but I figured taking stock of your actual assets is also a worthwhile yeah. thing. Because you, you it's not like you have spent you know the time in the game doing nothing. You have actually collected a, a fair chunk of stuff. Um, I mean, an obvious thing would be to try, and as we've been talking about automation, mm-hmm to sort of acquire passive income so that we don't have to, you know, have that, oh, you know, we've leveled up a couple of times, time to think about upgrades, I have no money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Especially good at this point as well, because that's definitely a, a leash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. and, and things are expensive if you don't want to deal with people like Q-Bob, right? Yes. It's like, come, how would I want this? Like, it's fine to sort of sort of saying, come, I mean, for future events, it's just far too vague. Mm-hmm. Uh, it really does depend on what my next idea is. And we gotta I mean, it's, go... it's, it's establish a permanent revenue source. Yeah. It's getting the eggs back to get it. Revenue stream. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Establish a revenue stream. I would say consistent is better than permanent. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Permanent sounds a bit mm. too uh, promisey. Yeah. Consist- Maybe That's self-sustaining, it. yeah, but I think consistent covers it. Self-sustaining is, yeah, probably yeah. a good way to put it, actually, because we would want one that... You don't actually have like, to do anything, yeah. you just can just get a paycheck from it, yeah. Yeah, and also something that's a bit, like... Uh, durable, like we don't have to worry about minding it all the time. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. Establish self-sustaining revenue. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. That's pretty good. And yeah, really good chat about assets now as well. Uh, anything else you want to add to the asset list though before we shimmy forward? Or do you think we're all good there? And his. I Alex think I'm sure things will pop up. Is Alex Munster <coughs> today yet? <laughs> or is he still munching? I mean, Hello. I'm still here. Good, good. Um, Imagine just sitting there munching, not talking. I simply talk with my mouth full. Like I'm not even munching yet. Wow. I'm just you sit for drinking. Uh, I see. I think we got to unmute. Do you have any input I mean, we... at all um, on everything we spoke about then? <laughs> yes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but I will not. <laughs> um, anything you want to add to the ships mm. list, the people list, the places list, um, assets in general? <laughs> No, I'm mostly just excited to get the, uh... Someone munching there now. Mm-hmm. Thanks, go on. Mm. Um, 
no, it'd be good to get the Azure flow back under our control and uh, establish the legitimacy of that as well. It's an interesting uh, viewpoint. Freezing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, the Queen did take it over in some questionable manner. So, yes. probably want to make sure by using something as our base of operations that it's clean. Speaking as the uh, the Android mechanic ex-con of sorts. Yeah, but to be fair, she feels, I think she said this to Lykel, that that was all sorted. Right? Yeah, but I don't trust her judgment after I everything that's happened. I wouldn't trust stuff. her judgment at all. To be yeah, honest. So um, we need to get new, we need to get fresh plates for her. Okay, that does mean naming the ship. Yeah. Which is a very big, it's just coming the Azure Hour. Is that a, just spray paint <laughs> hour over the word flare on the side of it? Or just upgrade flare to bomb. Okay. Yeah, bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. The Charlotte flare. No, it would be called uh, the Azure yeah. Sunset if we're going to send it off that way. Um, just put a two on it and okay. nobody will notice. Perfect. Um, the Azure flared? No. Um, Azure yeah. flares? Yeah. You just put a little bit of paint between the F and the L to make that another A. <laughs> and it should be the as you as your air. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a bit more effort. There we go, perfect. And, um, and it'll fool the uh, number plate recognition systems. Yeah. That I assume the cops here use to identify. Just do uh, some uh, space uh, shots. weirdly oriented uh, black L shapes as well all over it. Just so <laughs> that it throws off the facial recognition. <laughs> yep. Because I, I imagine that's the only way they go checking if this pleasure yacht belongs to. Yeah, yeah. obviously the only, only possible way. Yep. Um, we thought this pleasure yacht was the Azure Flare, but it clearly doesn't say Azure Flare anymore. So it clearly it can't be. You know, you gotta pay yeah. attention, Lou. Um, <laughs> that's not the Azure Flare. That's the Azure Air. You can tell from the spray paint on the side of it. Um, <laughs> oh man. I mean, uh, my alternative plan is that we just spray it black. Yeah. To be because fair. The thing about space. Is it's very black. Yeah, and like things are really well hidden if you just spray paint them in space. That's that's true. Um, yeah, just if we spray it black, it will be impossible to identify in space. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So you just leave it and then you just go, wait, actually, where did we park? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're over there by that star. It's just gone now. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Right, quick, put the sun between the ship and the. No, wait, no, other way around. Put the ship between the sun and us and look for the, the silhouette. You get, yeah. you get a shot when you fly around until you bump into yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nancy. I think we'll just fly around until he finds it. Nansen's decided to be by. Until he bumps in. Are we happy with the goals as they are now? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Oh, to be sure. To be sure. Um, yeah, cool. But the, I think as well, it is valid having these conversations about things like assets because it reminds the like the players, what the characters should always be aware of, right? For the most part. Because you would know all of these things are just, you know, at your disposal to a degree, right? Um, but we'll keep a hold of this. And if anybody's adding or editing these trackers of any kind, just say to the group so that we, we are all on the same page. Um, right. The 11th page. The 11th page. Um, so, let's get started then, shall we? So, I know, it seems weird starting now, but here we it's are. It's early. Hmm? The, uh, I know, right? <laughs> it's, not, it's not next Monday yet. Um, yeah, we open up. Uh, there is an unconscious Isabel on the floor. I CC is holding a gun. The barrel's cooling. Puts the gun back in his backpack. Uh, goes da, 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 and points at Zora while saying all this, um, and then like climbs over her back, um, just stands on her as she's unconscious on the ground. <laughs> um, takes something off of her belt. Um, that whoever was paying attention notices it's the thing. Yeah, that, it's the thing. Yeah, the thing that scans <laughs> the mech and uh, holds it up to Zora. Uh, and then gives two thumbs up from like you know his hand because <laughs> you wanted one uh... and then goes back and, and snuggles in behind the back of the egg uh... what does everybody wow. else do in that situation 
Um, <laughs> I look perplexed and horrified. Same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Kevin? The fuck just happened? I mean, you gave your thing. Ah. Hmm. Uh, I'm still perplexed how we even deal with that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like I should be like packing up the view run and punting them at the, the show. <laughs> <laughs> how do you reprimand a skittermand? <laughs> I thought uh, you said they were peaceful. Ah, uh, I mean, they didn't. Zig looks at the gun in his hand that he was given. <laughs> didn't defend himself when we were conquering them. It sounds like them, they may have invaded you. Uh, invaded maybe. his heart, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> can I, um... Can I check Isabel's vital signs? Uh, yeah, do you want to give me a uh, Medellin? I mean, you know it doesn't matter too much, right, Lyco? She does get better. <laughs> Not to downplay the death. That's the, it's the next one you have to deal with, but that's the problem. Mm. Uh, I mean, I got a 12, uh, so I, I, I can't find her neck. <laughs> I think it's not that. There's still a weird electrical current sparking through us. So when you touch her, you get like an electric shock, I think is the best interpretation of that, because, yeah, how you don't find her neck is going to be an interesting one, but... <laughs> I think it's just okay. So yeah, I just I go to take the pulse, maybe like in the rest nearest me or something, and then just go ah ah. Yeah, and maybe to mm. your cop memory, um, which is apparently a new trait. Um, you ah. you are aware of like crowd control, a uh, riot suppressing a uh, weaponry. So can I deactivate that and then check her myself on the basis that my modifier is higher than the roll, Colin? Uh, you could just ground her in some way, right? Yep. It's, it's not like a deactivate thing, it is literally just... Okay, so I put one hand of my massive mech suit on her leg. <laughs> yeah. And then take my arm out of the mech suit to check sure. her pulse. Yep. Can I give me a medicine roll? Medicine. Medicine. Every time. It's like a session one callback, I think, right? <laughs> yep. I think it might be. Yeah. Also oh, enjoying. I'm finally on two large monitors. Nice. It's so much nicer for this. That's a 19. That's only marginally better. <laughs> Such a boosting. I uh, home. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think. I think you can. Um, maybe it's like really faint, but yeah. I feel like there is what resembles a pulse. The good news is she's not dead. <sighs> the bad news is the pulse is faint, so she might be dead soon. Uh, uh. <laughs> Zig, can you please? I do the spooky hand wave thing with my one arm that's not grounded. No, okay. here's the thing. How does Zig feel about that? Um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't heal her, right? That's not what I'm saying. I am saying, would you given your interactions with Isabel? Zig's the bigger man. Uh, is he? Wow. <laughs> Look at that psychological manipulation right there. <laughs> <laughs> if Zig was... leave your beef at the door, yeah. um, I think I think Zig would look between like maybe weird and like the captain and wait for like an affirmative like nod from everyone else as well as it because like he's obviously not going to just go. Um, seems like voice that as Zig then, right? Like, it's okay, a, it's a lot to give in a look. So perhaps like have your hand hovered over and then. Maybe voice. I think, yeah, maybe he would, like, um, <laughs> on, on, kind of, like, just walk over slowly, kind of kneel down, and um, maybe look at Weird um, and to the captain and then back at Weird and be like, are, are you sure this is a good idea? And then he kind of, like, looks down at his hands, looks at Isabel, kind of, uh, <clears throat> um Maybe maybe it looks at Lyco. Weird to get a montage of that bus ride. Mm -hmm. I think that this is a good, good opportunity to pay back some karma. And if we don't do this, she'll come back again, even angrier. 
she does seem to get grumpy with each iteration. I I, I read the finger for a second, like just like, hey, can I just I I just want to check something first, mm. and I um, her eyes closed. She is out rather than dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can I just sort of like manually open one of them just to see if it's normal and not like mine? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Do I need to roll anything for no, that? I or? think so. Like, um, yeah, you just open her eyes and like they're somewhat rolled back, right? But okay. they don't have the spooky barai glow. She doesn't have the weird undertones of yeah. like negative energy pulsing through her. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's none of that because, like, you, if anybody took any time to look at you, you give off negative energy, right? Like, you, you're a bit like the Hulk with a gamma rays vibe, right? Yeah, yeah I'm powered by it. I'm so, yeah. so yeah, like, any level of inspection's kind of enough, really. Like, as long as it's not a complete failure of a role. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just I just look look and sort of the eyes just as the, because I I I just like. It was 100% worth it, yeah. Because he would think, but she's back. Mm. Is she like, <laughs> you know, she, he would suspect yeah. something. Um, uh, so yeah, yeah, he just he just does that, like, manually pries open one of the eyes and sort of looks in quite closely and then just sort of satisfied, nods, stands up. Uh, yep, yep, that's all normal. Nobody questions the fact that he had to look at her eye or anything. Ah, uh, I mean, I don't question it at this point. Like, we don't <laughs> stay dead in this universe, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> frankly, this close to that ship, it seems reasonable mm. to assume mm. that kooky things happen. Wouldn't that be ironic if she was raised by Brano <laughs> Yeah, I mm. you like her. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to check the, the eyes. Zig? Ah. Okay, okay. Uh, and, uh, he's going to spend the next ten minutes doing a healing touch, because he's not wasting spell slots on there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how does that look to everybody else? And, like, what is a... Oh, no, there is a, a problem right away. Oh, wait, no, it's just... Uh, wait, she might not be in that line. <laughs> uh, now, Zig. <laughs> uh-huh. Is she in that line? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm saying that now. Okay, she can have, she can have, uh, have balls. <laughs> God damn it. Every day I gave him the right. choice, right here. So. Yep, I know, I know, but. Uh, uh, That's such a good here. move, though. I love that move so it's much. Great. Healing touch. <laughs> Why that isn't included in most healing classes, I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So is the healing the actual like number of health she gets back? I take it. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, he kind of just kneels down and you know, usual usual gubbins, or he kind of starts maybe going from his core, and then it's pulsing down to, to his hands, or it kind of like pulses into her body and stuff, and then um, starts to do its magical wibbly wobbly magic stuff. I'm gonna assume you're not gonna transfer your own hit points in this particular cast. I am not. No. <laughs> Okay, cool. And uh, what level was this cast at? Two. Two, cool. So that was really a 3d8, sorry, plus your wisdom? Man. Yeah, I rolled a, a one, a two, and a two. I think the rolls know you don't want to heal her. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, right. Wow, you, wow, wow. Uh, oh, sick. Oh, and I'll mark oh, that then. Now, interesting. Yeah, cool. It, that works. Definitely works. Everything happens, happens. Um, you can kind of like feel her like gasp for air, 
as well. Um, almost like her lungs have kicked back in. <laughs> um, and you just hear like cough and like, you know, mostly just cough and she's doing that thing where she's kind of leaning on like her forearms uh, that are right in front of her and she's coughing like kind of down into her chest. It's like her hair falls kind of over her, her face. Um, but before that was completed, did Emdy do anything in the ten minutes before? Ah, uh, probably just rubbing my my eyelids and thinking like, what the hell? Like, how do I like actually deal with CC? <laughs> I don't think we should just swipe that under the rug, you know. <laughs> What if he shoots the rider? I'm uh, <laughs> probably going to shoot the rider. Googling um, free courses in Skittermander. Right, okay. Um, maybe a weird your man for that question. Um, yeah. I don't know that yet, though, do I? Uh, Did I mean? Skittermander podcast. Uh, you've got space internet here, don't you, Colin? Or like, I should say. Yep, okay. yeah, I'm sure I do. Yeah, like, do you want to. Do you give me a computer's roll? And we'll see how well you do in that front. <laughs> Certainly. Why not? Certainly. 20 computers. Uh, Is that an there, amount there, of computers? There's a course, but it'll cost you 50 credits. Yeah. Uh, wrap up. You know, hovers over the, the button and then just, eh, swipe. <laughs> yeah. I'm working it with the free resources I can stitch together. <laughs> Might take longer. We're going to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you're not going to go for the the fifty credit? No. Cool. cool. I have no money. Cool. Um, right. Okay. As for a uh, weird ten minutes, anything worth your time, or happy to wait it out and see how this plays out? Um, I feel like somebody should maybe pilot the shuttle somewhere. As well, unless you're just wanting to sit where you are in the kind of the mountains of. I was thinking we should stay where we are rather than wait for her to be conscious in a moving vessel. I mean, Not you know, bad idea. her and moving vessels have had a, a brief history. Um, yeah, I just don't want to, you know, be crashing into the mountain to resolve a diplomatic issue. Mm. Um, it fair. might resolve a diplomatic issue, though, actually. Um, why has that never been a tactic? Um, <laughs> I am okay with these tactics, but... Uh, I have a bomb. Um, <laughs> yep. Uh, I am a no. bomb. <laughs> so is Zora. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I'm in favour of staying here. I'll do the pre-flight check so that you know, once everything's ready, we can head off. So you're in a pilot? Um, I will pilot. I will prepare to pilot. Okay. Um, do you want a piloting roll? Uh, yeah, why not? May as well during the ten minutes. 20. Wow, what is it with twenties tonight? We are for them. Uh, um, let me just. Uh... No, we're, we're we're good. We're good. I just figured I'd throw in some twenty rolls there. You'd be like, is it is it everything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Um. So uh, no, I yeah. will also. Continuously be flicking expectant glances at the captain, you know, waiting for him to take charge and figure out a way to reprimand CC. Because um, you are now well versed in dealing with murderous small furry party members. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, and uh, social faux pas. Mm. Yeah, maybe maybe Zach should be dealing with. This <laughs> <laughs> seems closer to home. This feels like the expansion to Black and White, the game where your creature got a pet creature, um, oh God. and you had I... to train your creature to train its creature. That's what that sounds like to me. That's bullshit. So, this is a terrible idea. I'm going to preface it with that. Yeah, like giving Anakin an apprentice. But no, uh, no, no I'm, I, I mean, yeah. But also, I'm, I'm going to, um, I'm going, I'm, I'm meaning, I'm, I'm about to suggest something, but I want to just get out there before I say it. It's really dumb. Go for um, it. Why don't you mind the CC? Oh my god. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> we know how this goes. Um, He's gonna start like 
six wielding pistols and shooting everything. <laughs> shooting random blonde women on a shot. How many? How many sessions uh, have, we, have we been? How many sessions is this guys? I just this? thought you know we could impress upon him maybe some of the importance of not just randomly firing at people. Have you ever seen triple guns akimbo? So when you say mind link with CC to impress upon him not randomly firing at people, do you mean Zig should he edit out the bus? Do that. He just caused it inadvertently, and that is a meaningful distinction. So did uh, CC in pulling the trigger. That's not indirect. Five sessions. Oh. It's been five sessions. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Dead ringer, I think, is where that one happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how, who knew there could be more than one blonde lady? Um, <laughs> in a whole I, uh, <laughs> Listen, I, I hear there's only one black guy. No. Um, your comments aside, Colin, the um, the idea is at least an idea, and it was prefaced very well. You know that it is that it's a dumb idea. So I wanted to make that clear. Yeah. I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm merely suggesting it is an idea that we might pursue. Um, but let's relatively keep this in in character chat and see how we do with this situation. So yeah, like you've got Zora. Do you like notice that a uh, Weird is just glancing loads of uh, like loads of times, maybe like nodding his head at you and then at the uh, <laughs> the crate with the egg glowing in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, right. I- I'll. Um... I like the idea that you just sit there and just go what. Like what, what, <laughs> what, what? what? Scalmandles, man! <laughs> you don't deal with scalmandles. <laughs> um... And yet you made a deal with him. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah, you can get a mech. That's true. That's true. Yeah. He did give me a mech. I actually mech. care. I'm just joking. But they... He never gave me one. He <laughs> stole it. He, he took it for him. He has it. <laughs> He's currently hugging it, oh, yeah. asleep yeah. next to the egg. He gave you two thumbs up. That's what you got, Zora. A thumbs up. Uh, thumbs down. That's what I gave him. Thumbs down. Um, I guess I would shout. Like, I, I won't no shout. I like CC. I mean, you you hear snoring. I would fucking kick the crate. Or the, 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 <laughs> the, the <turn. laughs> So you're gonna kick the crate with the solar egg in it. Yeah, it's a sturdy thing, right? Uh... <laughs> would that break the ten minute concentration for Zig though? Uh, well, te- I mean, technically. Uh, I'm not doing the ten minute concentration. Oh yeah, true that. Actually, me. true that. I keep mm. tracking things. Mm, much like tracking. It's but, not like a full blown uh, like volley either. It's like a you know like a. a well, f- I think I think Ziggle happily footed. take ten minutes to cast this instantaneous spell. I imagine like if you're in a more relaxed environment where you have the time, you just would take more time with your spell casting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that seems natural to me. It's not. It's not. Uh, oh my god! You're about to die. Wham. Yeah, it's so like, okay, stabilizing, stabilizing, coming back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do go He's toward her light, it's good healing light. As opposed to just going, bam, you're back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I think. you boot, you boot the crate then, right? The side. You hear boot all is this. It is a, it is a, an extreme word. It's, it's like <laughs> a, you know, it's like a, a flat-footed, like, dunt, you know? I feel like dunt's a bigger... Never, anyway, semantics aside, um, yeah, you in some way indicate to CC that his presence is required outside the crate. Yes. <laughs> Violently. <laughs> right, okay. And uh, boot was apparently too strong a word. And, um, <laughs> I would call a lady that. So the, the crate, obviously, like shakes a bit because you boot it, and then uh, you just hear incoherent chittering. Um, which you're very used to because it's usually when CC's having a go at you or talking normally to you. It's it's hard to tell. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> it always seems like he's having a go at me, quite frankly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, that's a, that's a thing, right? That's, that's happening. Uh, also, just for yeah. Lyco's benefit, I don't know if it was actually obviously clear or not, but like I did say this to uh, Weird a couple of weeks ago, but Skittermander isn't easily understood or spoken 
Like it's really yeah, it's not a well known. Yeah, it's super rare. Which Most people don't realize it is its own language. It was probably a con, just FYI. That course, okay. like that's the type of stuff that yeah, like learning Skitamander for that cheap is not a thing. Um, it's like in the packed world, you'd be lucky if you found two scholars that spoke it. For that way. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be easy to figure it out ourselves. Yeah. Maybe. That's my plan anyway. <laughs> down time. Uh, not a bad plan. So yeah, the yep. yeah, I that's think it. Lyco's plan is to wait, basically let to let we learn more and mm. then copy his notes. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna get my uh, updates on it from the Conspiracy Grape website. We'll be publishing videos on it on a, on a regular basis, <laughs> so they can then become the official language of the conspiracy community. Under the, the username Crywolf. Yeah. That's the one. Um, and I will find out where my who killed my father. Mm -hmm. Yep. Where to find that out. Or like your best friend's father, right? Um, Roland. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Definitely different. Crywolf and Roland are not the same person. Oh my god, a new conspiracy. Anyway. <laughs> um, it <just> self perpetuates. <laughs> anyway, um, in this game. Yeah, like that's yeah. it. That's what you get. You've got like a scatterminder in a box with an egg, and like a, you know, whatever those things are called, like null space chamber with a mech in it. <laughs> yep. Uh, right. I guess I'm by. Ham. Ham. Ah, right. I guess in a rather raised voice, I would tell him to get out of the crate. Can you roll intimidate for me? Yes, yes, why Since not? I don't think we've yeah. ever rolled that. No, I mean, it's, it's always well, been... Did you roll it when you were talking to that guy on the platform? I don't think you did, did you? Before you got into the fin lower? When you, you Captain America'd him, you just went, Son, don't. <laughs> I don't know if I did intimidate him. I don't think, I think so. I, I was Veskin diplomacy, mm -hmm. after all, right? I mean... Yeah, <laughs> <true>. <laughs> uh... Right, let me see, let me see, right. Timidate. Hold on, please don't wait 20. Oh my god, that's awful. So, um, yeah, what, what are you shooting at the box? Just, just get rid of the box. <laughs> you just, again, the chittering and angriness of the tone of uh, the Skittermander. Uh, it's just there from, like, behind the egg. <laughs> Do you want me to kick you out of the show? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the goddamn box! What's everybody else doing? Um, SK's obviously coughing her lungs up on the floor. Um, Zig, weird, Lyco, you're now just watching and hearing the captain scream at a box and kick it, and you just hear CC screaming back. <laughs> it seems reasonable. I'm, I'm, I'm watching Furler. Um, yeah, she's mostly just coughing as if, like, you know, her body functions were electrocuted to stop, and. Now they've been kicked back in with magic. Yeah. I think Zig would like have his like hand on her back and like, you know, just say that, welcome back. And kind of you know, as she's coughing, kind of do that like She has that thing where like her hair's all falling over her face and stuff, so she, like as I described, her forearms are on the ground, her head's like kind of between her shoulders, if you will, like, you know, coughing, as I said, like back towards her chest. And um, um I think he'd like move her hair up and like hold it up and like she like just, just keeps does that thing where she's like while coughing and clearing her throat, like her eye obviously darts to you when you say that as if she's acknowledged what you've said, um, but obviously can't necessarily speak right now. Mm -hmm. um, and she's kind of like coughing and like convulsing a little bit as if trying to like shake it off, as it were, in the Swifties. So, yeah, what else is a <laughs> MD interjecting with the captain's debacle? Or are we just letting that play out? Because uh, I feel like these are all just sat in chairs now. I'm have... standing up, leaning against something, because that's the kind of guy I am. Well, maybe, I you're, maybe you're sat. Check. I was gonna say maybe you're on the um. Right, so you're doing the pilot and check stuff, and you've you've done your pre-flight nonsense, and you sit there. At this point, I struggled round to watch. Yeah, and I think Lyco's maybe sat on the console just next to you, at the cockpit area, right? Because remember, okay. it's like the shuttle isn't that big. Um, it can be. So I think that's it, and obviously Zig's on the floor next to SK, and the captain is indeed the captain. I feel like I that see. covers it. Yes, I think, I think 
think Craig's a captain at this point. I mean, who's fault? I am the right for person to shoot everybody. I feel like. Don't know why he turned into like a German. <laughs> Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. But anyway, so nobody knows what you know was my sorrow. Uh, but yeah, what um, <laughs> what's your new tactic? This tactic seems to have failed. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know other tactics. <laughs> so is it just grab the besides bomb? just besides just shoot the the, the fucking insubordinate? <laughs> That's usually how Vesk works. I mean, you just tell me what you want to do next. Don't shoot him, please. I, I mean, is that something you just decide to say? Because that would be funny. Also, I'm uh, yeah, I back... can see it in, in character. I'm scrolling back in the chat, and this seems more appropriate now. Because <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm trying to find the shuttle picture. Um... Hold on, let me just check something. Uh, yes. Um, do, do, do. Is it in some way hoping that you've got a thing for this? I do have a thing for this, I think. <laughs> let me just check through it. Um... Anybody else uh, up to anything else at this particular point in time then while this is going on? I think maybe if um, S. Kate sort of, uh, well, furlers calm down a little bit. Um, yeah, I think maybe the convulsion maybe stops after like her a, about five health. minutes, yeah. Yeah, I think maybe Zig would kind of go and like look in to where CC is. Uh, I mean, that is a crate that the captain is shaking. Um, with the egg in it getting rattled around and yeah, like, no. CC's in the back of all this, he's like tucked in behind the egg um, just screaming and scared <clears> of <throat> her okay, I, th I think it's... maybe they could be like, no maybe so... it's not the best um, method captain oh, what's the best method sick? <laughs> I, I don't know maybe just wait until he's not in with the potentially fragile powered egg in the box. Sure, and I'll just wait for him to shoot his eye in the back as well. I think Zig's hand like just goes to his head and he kind of scratches. I do feel like it's been underplayed that he just shot a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but if your small buddy doesn't shoot someone, are you really having a small buddy? <laughs> that is valid. <laughs> Captain, he's off a little and I, um, I, I would try speaking to him. I, um, I sometimes wonder if he maybe misses some of the complexities of what we're saying. Um... Can I uh, just squeeze in? Because, like, you know, you're, you're both sort of near the crate. I would rub my ocular ridges and, in a stressed way, you know, mm -hmm. up her nose. And I'd give them after you. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I have, a, a like, a de-stress spell. <laughs> I, uh... Sleep. So I do share a language with him, but here's Could what I'm you... thinking. Vampiric voice would allow me to intimidate a creature that doesn't normally understand me. Um, right. Because it, but it can't be conveying anything particularly complex, so it has to be like a simple instruction I'm giving. Um, what I'm trying thinking is basically, because it's like a, it's a supernatural ability to threaten things, basically, which is why it can work across language bar barriers. I'm thinking basically go up to them, sort of lock eyes with them, vampiric voice, don't shoot people when you don't have to. Or don't shoot friends or whatever. Don't shoot guests. Okay, so don't shoot guests. That's what you want to say. I, I, know, I know there are maybe circumstances in which I have to rescind that, but <laughs> I think that would be... Like, I think it would be right easier to than trying to... Well, you're, know, I'm, 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 you're trying to keep it simple, though. That's the problem. Yeah. I'm thinking it would be easier to just like vampiric voice at him that rather than trying to. I mean, theoretically, because we do share a language common, although he never uses it directly, he always uses text to speech. 
mm-hmm. or text, right? So he might not actually really be able to. Yeah, CC in has never topic. verbally. You have never seen CC verbally speak common. So yeah, so trying mm-hmm. to give him complex commands in common, so, he seems to understand it, but he's not conversant in himself. So I do wonder if sometimes some things are maybe a little lost. Um. I mean, if you think I can give him a complex command, if you think he knows enough common that that would work just fine, then I'll try that. Well, it says here, right, so if you succeed at the check, you can convey a simple request along with the bullying, such as go away or don't hurt him. Though specific or complex requests can't be made without sharing a language, I, once a creature has been the target of a bullying attempt, I like that they call you out on this. By a recipient with a vampire voice, it can't be targeted in this, uh, by this ability from the same recipient again for 24 hours. So, I don't know, I'd say there's, you could get reasonably complex, right? Because yeah. you know he understands more than he necessarily... Reacts to, at least. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because um, all the stuff, all the audio stuff, that, like, one. like all of your... Um, your tech, right? Every day of the group's tech that has speakers is how he replies to you guys. That's why he, he signed up to all your comms and stuff. Um, so, you know, he, and he, d- he has been able to reply to complex scenarios. So, yeah. What's the mark you've got of this? It's mark one, so it would just be plus one. But I have a pretty healthy bonus to begin with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, so what, what is it still the don't shoot guests? Basically, it, it, I'll, I'll, I'll phrase it somewhat more complexly than that, but more. Uh, um, ah! Yeah, vampiric voice used on next roll. Um, but yeah, that's suggestive. I w- I'm not going to really necessarily phrase is this it until the see first the result. Time, yeah, I was going to say, is this, this the first, first time, time I've used it? But I mean, in fiction, is this the first time. Everybody's getting to see this side of. Like, I think it'll be the first time they hear it. It might be the first time he's consciously used it. Like maybe he developed it some time ago, and just because like he wasn't necessarily fully aware of all the changes that are going on, and he's like, I'm going to use that word reverb as well because I'm assuming there's reverb to your voice when it, you speak. Well, it's described as supernaturally threatening. Yes. Um. So. I guess it kind of sounds like it's been altered in post yeah. to make him sound spookier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll uh, into the. I'm so sorry to do this to a scatterman,der of all creatures, <laughs> uh, especially one that's been actually really helpful. But I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, that's actually 17. That's pretty fucking bad, considering I get, you know, plus yep. 11, and then another one. So it's a 17. Which is the same oh. as what the captain got. Yep. Yep. He's unintimidable. Unintimidable. Yeah. So he, Lyco oh, just says something like, um, "He's obviously not done a great job of it." So it's probably something like, "Like, like, you know, just Craig, don't shoot our guests unless they shoot first. But then he's almost like surprised at himself when he notices like there's another. Voice underlying his own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the kind of as I said. I think that maybe, maybe, maybe that undermines how, how intimidating it would be when he like obviously startles himself. Yeah, because maybe it's a, a shock to you more than yeah. everybody else, right? I am. Um... And uh, yeah, just sort of um, clear my throat. I guess notice that he's ignoring me. <laughs> I, no, the, you can definitely feel like the the direction in which the. Can, like I don't know if it's confused is the right word, but the barrage of um, chittering is now aimed at you. It seems like. <laughs> yeah, I'll like shake my head and get up, and I'll like keep. Can everybody else uh, react though to that uh, particular like fucking demonic reverb voice that Lyco now has and seems to be shocked by himself? So you know, if I say, like, it sounds like he's kind of just been possessed by somebody. <laughs> but I cold. Uh, no, I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm fine, I just, uh, the, uh, you know. You hear it from the background through coughing, I'm fine too, thank you. Um, as she, like, helped, 
gets herself up onto like a chair. How bad does she look? Eh, <laughs> uh, like she just got shot. S- slightly bloodshot <laughs> eyes, but that's about it, right? Like just you know. Okay, perfect. It's about um, right, weirdly see. she looks more berai now because of the blood. Yeah, I'm gonna say something Um Yeah, like I think yeah, maybe oh, your your, yeah, your eyes probably did react as well to your like more berai yeah. traits that were like flaring up, right? Like I feel like you know, there was a lot more thaumaturgy to the whole affair. I, yeah, it probably looks spookier mm-hmm. than my standard. Uh yeah, so he if if, if um if she said she's fine, I'd sort of look at her, like, notice her looking a bit messed up and say, yeah, 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 you look good. And she just looks at you, <laughs> raises an eyebrow, and says, you sound it. I think I'm going to re- re-script that to, you sound sincere. <clears throat> um, I usually am. And she like, like puts her hand to her throat and like kind of cracks her neck to the side. And then she looks at Zig, and she says, "All things considered, I appreciate that." I think Zig just nods. Um, I think as Lyco speaks, like his, I think his, you know, he does that um, whole sort of ears drop kind of. Uh, this is spooky. Um, yeah, the money and, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Um and uh Yeah, I think probably takes like a lo- like a small step back, maybe not super noticeable, maybe noticeable, who knows? Um maybe I guess anyone who notices. <laughs> I don't know, roll stealth. <laughs> yes! A roll! <laughs> I love it. Shaboom! Yeah, nobody Fucking notices. Hell. Um, so yeah, it takes like a, a small step back and like you're just gonna drop and like as the um, clip out of the show. <laughs> I guess I fly back into it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. So he. Yeah, and then when uh, obviously nods it uh, further, he kind of just looks back to like oh, maybe with an eyebrow raised and head kind of cocked to the side. Eyes probably quite wide. Then she, uh, she's probably still kind of like looks back to Lyco, and then you know she's kind of like sat slumped in the chair, um, like somebody who's just run an impromptu marathon, and uh, she says, "Do I want to know what hit me?" It looked like a crowd control weapon. It was. He's um excitable. Who is excitable? And um, she kinda, like looks and she obviously still hears like the horrible chittering. She goes, "Please don't tell me the small thing hit me." <laughs> I'm not laughing in character. <laughs> sure. Probably, probably <laughs> am. I'm probably going slightly <laughs> insane in character. <laughs> <laughs> It's much fun if you do that. <laughs> Let me direct you, if, if I can, back to the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, in fact, you might know what, I, I probably would chuckle because of the irony that the, the two-foot-tall thing, like, took her down when, like, mm-hmm. I couldn't eat, like, oh, couldn't eat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, she kicked her ass, he's then to be six foot. It would be too fit, like funny thing, just like. To be fair, it out. small <laughs> small furry things seem to be our downfall, quite frankly. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it does. She has a weakness. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, so, I think on that note, I would try a slightly different approach, and I'd like CC. Can you please just come out? Can I roll diplomacy? Yeah. Reluctantly doing your job. <laughs> Do you get any actual natural bonuses to this for actually being like a celebrity? <laughs> uh, not for celebrityhood, but I do have decent diplomacy. Decent. Remember, your theme has stuff at the start of it, though. Like, uh... the, the level 1 stuff, right? Oh, I do have my Sidiri influence, I think, still running. T- sure. <laughs> uh, we've not entered combat, right? Yeah. Sure. Have we ever entered combat? <laughs> you haven't. 
Uh, cool. Unless cool. we count so the I've crate. Still... Cool, so I've <laughs> still got my sidereal. Or like, sidereal, however you pronounce it. Like... I, I feel like it is sidereal, but who the hell knows? So... Uh, <laughs> uh, right, so I will diplomacy. Pick. And then... Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's good enough, but I'm just going to do it anyway, just to make damn body sure. I'll click my sidereal influence abilities, blah, blah, blah. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Boom. It's going to do my d6. Right, cool. Slash. D6. My one key isn't working. Oh, good old two. It's 26. It's alright, though, yeah. Um, Let me do a... Google says it's sidereal. Okay. Relating to stars somehow. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that would make sense, being uh, what I am. So, yeah, the chittering stops, but that's it. There's no, like, movement. <sighs> Fine, if you're not going to come out, at least listen to this. You can't just go around shooting guests and, like, uh, what else? I gotta say, totally blank. Blank. <laughs> My basic choice is that that doesn't fit with your Vesk brain. That's what you've went. I know. To I, it's just like wait, you can't kind of just go shooting guests, really. What's uh, a guest <laughs> again? A guest. <laughs> Especially when, well, for the most part, they've not actually been hostile towards us. Um. I think um, she looks at Zegan and just says under her breath, for the most part. <laughs> I like how well she's taking this, though. I appreciate that. Right, right. Maybe it's because she doesn't really like... have much of a choice with what she was hit with, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I, I was expecting her to wake up in, like, a fiery mood, so to speak. Uh... Imagine, if you will, and a truck made of electricity hit you. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm like catching my reflection. Uh, maybe like in the screen or the the, the windows. Yeah, because like... there's a lot of windows, right? So yeah. <laughs> uh, has my hair been like that for a while? Or was it when I touched her when she was all... Sort of like trying to smooth his hair down, but... <laughs> It's gone a bit brighter, Frankenstein. Mm. Um, you look more like the original artwork we picked for Lyco, or the original picture. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this 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 is a this is a nice suit. I didn't actually show you had a chance to look at it before. Kind of, kind of, kind of dark. It feels he's, like you've lost it. He's just having a conversation aloud with himself, basically. Mm. I would just kind of look at him, raise an eyebrow, and look back at the crate. <laughs> That's just, I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you want to be a part of this crew, you kind of go shooting everybody that you see I don't like. I feel like we've had this, this conversation recently before with somebody. Uh, <laughs> <but>. <laughs> <laughs> so there's there's shade and edge in this shuttle currently. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Big the the fuck down. Mm. I mean, I was actually talking about Fenida, but if Zig wants to get self-conscious, that's fucking. <laughs> <his. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and I was genuinely talking about Fenida. I don't yeah. even know about Zig yet. So. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, you get a message. A text message, no voice. Um, to your calm, Zora. Yeah, I would have done that, sorry. Yeah. That's okay, and it says, uh, I'm keeping the mech. Ah, you need to take that up with half, but I we, are we at, at, at an understanding? No more shooting people in the back? Without previous shootings? Sometimes you have to shoot people in the back. Ah, oh, I think... But not uh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping! <laughs> I think, like, she's sitting in the chair and her arm goes up and she's like, I second the not like that. 
And I appreciate how well you're taking this, SK. You're a changed person. She puts her, like, her hand kind of like in a dismissive kind of wave, and then she says, <laughs> I'm no longer an SK. It's just Isabel. Uh, um, that's next weird SK Isabel. Too many name changes. <laughs> kind of mutters under her breath, mostly because she doesn't really have the energy for, like, full volume conversation, really, but she mostly mutters under her breath, yes, Kate was my job title, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, and so is the abyss is mine, but that doesn't stop people calling me the abyss every two seconds. <laughs> yeah, so she kind of just, like, remains slouched, I guess, in the chair. Um, and then she kind of, like, leans forward as if trying to like get under her own power she kind of gives herself a bit of a shake and clears her throat again and starts speaking at normal volume and she says why was I shot? Uh, 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 must have been something you said I don't know <laughs> she just raises an eyebrow and gives you the like the dirtiest look of her <laughs> do you side, know how Scatamander's work? I don't know how Scatamander's working. We conquered them. You're seriously telling me it wasn't him? And she, like, thumbs over to Zig. Uh, uh, nope. Hey. Definitely the six-armed car. She quickly looks at Zig and counts his arms. Um, <laughs> and you go, hey. She's like, listen, you seem to have the biggest beef with me. She shrugs. And kind of winces Zig from being a bit. And then the two extra arms show. Yeah. <gasps> With guns. <laughs> uh, I've never known the kid to hurt people on purpose. Except, you know, desert raiders, but meh. I think she's, Zig's like, she's a little bit in his chair. Yeah, and she um, shakes her head side to side and like fixes her hair a bit and like pulls it all back. And then uh, just exhales really loudly. She's like, okay, so... I maybe just sit facing the crate for a bit. Um, maybe for the best. But can can we maybe get him? Question mark. <laughs> uh, away from the solar egg. Do you want to try and get him off that egg? No, no, <laughs> no. Please, please be my guest. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good right here and she's kind of just like gripping the armrests of the chair give, give it a bit of an hour he'll, he'll fall asleep it's fine. it's fine and then you're gonna move him uh yeah I guess Mr. Demon caught in my throat I I don't um. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not. I don't normally do that. that. That was. I don't normally get shot in the back, so it's a day of firsts. Then she goes to laugh, but then just winces because you know she still hurts. Do we have some water or something? You one hundred percent do. This this thing was fairly fairly well kitted out. This beautiful I, luxury. You know what, since I've said that, because it is kind of obvious we would have it, I'm just going to pretend that Lyco doesn't understand how to work whatever it is that provides the water. It's literally all sitting out on top of a cabinet at oh, the side of the shuttle. Yeah, it's like a buffet bar with fancy bottles. Oh, and yeah. Orange. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that, ignore me. Remember, Tanida was uh, washing her dress um, at it before. I forgot about that, yes. Yep. Um... I forgot how extensive the immunities are. Um, I'll take one for myself and chuck one to her. Mutter something about my throat. Uh, I'm going to make a d20 roll to see if she catches it. <laughs> You're <a> bit... No. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit a woman in the face with a bottle. <laughs> I, think, I think it just lands. Yeah. In be- the bottle just lands on the couch in between her and Zig. Right? I shrug. I think she like looks over at the bottle, then looks up at Zig. Zig looks at the bottle and looks up at Isabel. <laughs> eyes narrow. Her eyes narrow. <laughs> and she's like, "That'll help." 
Uh, Zig picks up the bottle and hands it over. And then uh, she takes the bottle and she just kind of like nods, like you know, the nod of respect nod, you know. Mm. And then Zig nods. She uh, opens the bottle and drinks from it. I feel like there's some tension between you two. <laughs> some might some might call it elastic, like. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. She, she drinks, the camera zooms in on the dry lips of Zig as he licks, <laughs> licks his lips. It's not like uh, the, 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 I don't know. <laughs> no, no, Nico, <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And she's not dressed in black either. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, Zig just gives her the ball. <laughs> yeah. Some might say there's more tension between you two and the person that just shot. Mm. Yeah. That seems you fair. Could <laughs> tension with a taser. Um. <laughs> and she says, why are we still here? Well, to be fair, we didn't exactly know how you would react when you woke up. I mean... Miss Button, you know. I would once. Who? Uh, nothing. Valid. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, we should uh, get back to your ship. I've gone over to see Weird at the console. You yeah. were at the council, weren't you? Yeah. That's where he last was. That nah, is where I last was. Like leaning over. Do you know a, a, a doctor around here? Mm. I feel like you know he does. I mean, Our, yeah, but yeah. you don't want to say, tell me a doctor. <laughs> uh, I used to. I'm sure they're still there. I, I, I you know, there's... Um, uh, thing you, I want to get checked out, you know. Is it the whole demonic voice thing? I, you know, it, uh, why why does it have to be dem demonic? I, 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 uh, okay, sorry. Bone sagey. <laughs> what the <laughs> adjective is? Well, I, bone sagen, I think. <laughs> there's like uh I uh I used to have a guy that I I'd sort of been getting checkups from in Absalom. Uh and short of uh you know getting Cindy back I don't think there's much chance of knowing exactly what might what else might change, you know? So I'd like to get ahead of the curve. Uh I mean there was another bone sage around here that we could speak to. Yeah, but she wasn't the one that was involved in make making my kind. That's fair. She, I just assume she might know more than you know about my, uh, general and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. But uh, but the physiological changes in a sort of in between state. I, I don't know. You would be forgiven. If you made the assumption that only Sindael knows that, in detail, yeah. yeah. I guess I just question how much a random doctor in Acton is going to know. Yeah, apparently. more than that bone sage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I just want to get a once over and see if everything looks. Oh no, I I know one that is very good for you know, physicals and tetanus shots, but uh, mm. you know they can confirm that you are. Sorry. What's the correct word? Like, is healthy what you're, what you're going for? Yeah. yeah. Functional. It still apply. Operational. <laughs> <laughs> Functional. Yes. Um, I just... Yes. Sorry, my vocabulary is... It's okay. Uh, yeah. Um, we're 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 
were pretty pretty rare. So yeah. And my attempt at drawing over Android terminology to account doesn't help much. But uh, yeah, you have to keep so many systems of uh, <laughs> physiology in your head. It's uh, difficult. I mean, yeah, most most people don't have to. Um, but uh, and that's called privilege. <laughs> <laughs> the uh they seem to be talking about where we're going or when we're going are we on are we all ready we're good to go if the captain has made a decision or whoever is making the decisions presently I feel like when you turn around, it's just the captain reciting lines of like the Vesk introduction to morality or something. CC, you know. <laughs> if you see something that is not Vesk, you shoot that thing. <laughs> if that thing shoots back, you shoot it harder. You skip it's the first chapter. Book you ever read when you go to the when you go to the park world, which is the first book you ever read. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will. Email CC some Kastathan books on morality and the, uh, mm. the cycle. <laughs> yeah, like the philosophy of, you know, everybody's allowed yeah. to be in the cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Morality for noobs. I send them my uh, copies of So You've Just Shot Someone. Yeah. Um, you uh, no, you <laughs> forward them from the. I was going to say, you forward them from the Zig Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that yet. Um, <laughs> so you've just made somebody get shot by someone else. I, I I think that's probably like you know I can imagine the stewards having like a a, a training course. So you've so you've just been attacked by a giant seventeen armed beast. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a pamphlet. So you've it's just been possessed in the line of duty. <laughs> uh, they do those really badly animated video training uh, mm -hmm. logs. The 1950s Hi there. So you've just shot someone. That's a real bummer. But sometimes <laughs> in the line of duty. <laughs> Is that why Lyco like, was retired? Because they didn't have a suitable pamphlet. So you've just died. They, yeah. they literally did not. They were like, yeah, we, we don't know what to do with the files. <laughs> You're not on a pamphlet, so you have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a bureaucracy of a. Like, like, you know, a but that is like literally by the back story. Like the yeah. Yeah. didn't know what the fuck to do with them. Yeah, because you're both mis we was it like this? killed in action and retired? I think yeah. Filed as yeah. Um, Pension question mark. Yes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no I think um, given that, then right, I think uh, used to a wee chat up front, and uh, the, the captain's apparently reading a book now. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm reciting it. I'm reciting mm -hmm. it to to CC. Mm -hmm. Oh, thou shall not shoot one in the back. <laughs> uh, you hear purring again after a while. Oh my god! I'm reading my bed bedtime story. Uh... <laughs> but I mean, now you're asleep, right? Ah, um... <sighs> I would just sigh and start rubbing my nose again. Oh, the equivalent. And then uh, Isabel kind of like interjects to the the shuttle in general and says, could we maybe get moving somewhere? I feel like, and she like looks at her like um, like her forearm, um, got like a kind of data pad thing that's built into like her, her armor that she's looking at and she's like, yeah, I feel like uh, we have a shit ton of stuff to get done. Like getting that back to its mother pointing at the egg. Where is the mother? And she like breathes deeply. And she's like we can get it to the Radiant Supreme. Assuming he's still alive. Then he can get it to Greece. Mm. Okay. Mm. So I would not. Do you not know where Greece is? 
I know. She kind of shrugs and she says, if I had to guess. And she points up through the, the window towards the sun. Yeah. That's good to know. You know, that's where I would expect her to be. She kind of like nods. How many more of these are kicking about? Eggs? Yes. Three. Three more, or three in total? Three that I know of total. Okay. Hmm. Why? She looks really worried all of a sudden. How many <laughs> are you aware of? Which three are you aware of? She rolls her eyes and yes, they scream. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, That one. Put, like, extends a finger to you as she's counting. The void egg. And... And she like thumbs over her shoulder towards like the desert and stuff. And Daza. That's good. good. That aligns with ours. Good. Mm. Right. And she like just kind of sighs a bit at that. Really thought you were going to oh. hit me with new, new information there. Whew. Not yet. Uh. Did I deposit the Daza egg as well, or did X Prime deposit the Daza egg? Are you asking her that too? Yes. She just looks and goes, kind of shrugs. She's like, I don't know the uh, the order of them. I feel like she's like, I think that's the first one. And she like nods towards the solar egg, like. It's the first one I heard about. But that was the concern. And she nods at you. Like, the void egg was the worry. Because that's the bad kid somehow. She shrugs and she's like, if you uh, buy into that, sure. She okay. looks at, and then she looks around at the group and she's like, bad seems objective. Mm. Yes. Okay. No, no, she says objective. Okay. <clears throat> Shall I just say existentially challenging then? She laughs again, uh, and like winces and like puts her hand on like her like just uh, above her hip, and she's like, "Sure, if it makes you feel better." Yeah. Whew. <laughs> So, where do you want to go then? And she says, this is a short range shuttle. It goes to a parent vessel of some kind. Let's get to that vessel. Let's get that to the solar monastery. Back with the Yasharu. And let's mark it off as one less thing to worry about, shall we? Okay, but we're detouring via Hive Market. I believe that's... When Lyco wants to go first? She looks um, over at Lyco, who's like a couple of millimeters to the left, I guess, according to where she has to look, so... Uh... I, I, I don't know, we could maybe, um... I thought you said you had a... Some drow in the uh, in Daza. I was about to say that. Say I don't yeah. feel like we should leave without the queen. No, um, I, I agree. She's probably we... going to be improved by now, somewhat. So, should we do hive market? I think it might be in the best interest of the entire crew to get physically checked out before we continue on our course of potential suicide, and then um, do Daza. Or a nod. Or just go then... straight in Daza, I guess, but I don't know how that relationship is. 
And then there's what Ramasefu said about the ship being in orbit. Perhaps. We are going to hospital in Daza. Yes, but there might already be a murder queen there, so... I wonder if it would be best to get checked out first. So, hive market. Spin around in the chair. Hive market. Yeah. Then, uh, boop 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 boop. And then we'll. There we go. Punch it in. Perfect. Aim to get anything to do on the way there. Cause Make it so. I try and sneak in. Uh, well, not in. Like, sneakily <laughs> approach the crate. Like, reach an arm in. And slowly pull um, CC out. Cool. So, <laughs> so he's about to get his horn bath. I'm gonna get shot. Give me a stealth check. Okay. You should be good at this. Look yeah. at that. So, you think about this plan, and you're in the crate. That's how good the thirty-six is. Okay. Um. So yeah. <coughs> you get any sleight of hand nonsense on the go? Do you want me to roll slight? I can I roll slight. I, I do. I want to see how you can manoeuvre him out without waking him. I think that's reasonable, yeah. Um, I think there's maybe that very tense moment of when you have to kind of like pull him either under the curve of the egg or over the curve of yeah. the egg. Um, and there's that tense moment where the music kind of like, like amps up and then drops down again. And the bead of sweat drops off your forehead and uh, you manage to get him out. I managed to slide him out. Back, I'll, like, pack and all. set him on one of the couches, I guess. Like, prop him up in, like, against a, a cushion. So that he's... And he's 100% you know, like, clutching that weird, like, banana-shaped um, device that came off of her. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll do that with the poison him in a couch, like, you know, nuzzling his, into that and just sort of, like, set him in a what. I feel it's a comfortable angle against the cushion, um, and sort of quietly, gingerly step away. I think everybody else then exhales because they were all holding their breath through that scene. Um, yeah. Okay. Just do a double thumbs up to the room in general. <laughs> Yeah. What about everybody else? Anybody else reacting to the miracle that just happened? Just a sigh of relief. Yeah, just a big sigh. Just a huge sigh of... <sighs> My eyes are on the road as a responsible driver <laughs> should have. The sky roads. Mm. They are important. Scored. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if anything else I really need to do at the moment. Um, I think um, as you set him on the, uh, you know, there, I think she kind of looks at you and nods, obviously, um, says Kate this is, and then notices the thing in his hand that looks something like the thing on the right there, you know, mm -hmm. that can, you, you saw what I meant, right? Yeah. It's a bit like that. And uh, she like clutches at her belt, realising it's missing, and then kind of just mouths, what the fuck? <laughs> And points at it, and it like and looks at Lyco. Um, and I, 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 I get kind of like half shrug. You see her like have a slightly angrier look on her face and point at it again with a sharper point. Um. <laughs> I'll approach her and just sort of say fairly quietly oh, you, you try taking it off him Shen just looks at you like almost imploringly then looks at him again and then just, just, like, just kind of waves her hand at you to like leave her alone <laughs> I'm gonna just walk to the front of the ship then <laughs> take a big swig of water pour some in my hair and try and flatten it down. 
Uh, yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, so if there's nothing else you want to do in mid-flight, yeah, you can just be a hive market, why not? Hell yeah. So he's land. That's the plan. Should we, uh... We should probably take him with us? Or... She looks at her watch again, and she's like, How long do you plan on being here? Uh... Well, judging by the last, like, three months, nothing ever goes as planned, so you better not ask us what the plan is. <laughs> she just kind of nods slowly, like, yup, I, I hear that, my life never went as planned either, you know? Mm. Ah, so, um, check-ups, where to? Uh, what? We were all speaking at once there, and it kind of came yep. the uh, jumble of jumblage. Yeah, uh, you wake okay. you wake CC up when you see. Yeah. <laughs> kind of just gets up, like you know, two of his lower arms clutching the, you know, the scanner, as it were, the the null space chamber, and the other one's rubbing his eyes as he yawns. And he kind of looks around and then just looks up and like kind of like. He's look, these two middle hands just kind of go grabby at the the egg, and then kind of looks up at you, Zora, and then just grabs at you. How dare you combat me with cuteness? You're your bad books. <laughs> it like folds its middle arms, right? When you say that, um, it's like brow furrowed, and then like its two hands that were rubbing its eyes like point at you, and it just starts berating you again. <laughs> I would start like just mimicking whatever noise it's at me <laughs> right back, like. <laughs> and then uh, Isabel looks at like when she goes, "So a couple of hours then." Ah, uh, uh, days maybe. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's let's aim for the the hour side here. That sounds good. She kind of nods and she's like, "Any objections to me coming to this doctor?" Weird. No. You are your own woman, and it looks like you might need it more than we do. And let's face it, if he's meeting Lyco, then I don't imagine your presence will face him either. No offence. <laughs> like, you'll literally see if you had not said that two seconds earlier, she would literally say no offence taken was what I was about to have her say. Um, <laughs> um, he's learning. Also, I actually finally found the... Um, the other drag queen's name, by the way. Um, believe it or not. Woo! Believe it or not. Lan Toral. I don't, I don't believe it. I w I, you know what? I'd never have guessed. Lan Toral. I you know actually what? don't recognise the name. I honestly, yeah, I have I no recognition for having a name. I, yeah, you yeah. you's never had a name, but I did. That was the oh, thing. Okay. I had an out of it, and it bugged me, because I'm like, Lalandra was not used, because it's too much like... Oh, sorry, Lalandra. It's too much like Lalandra from the X Men, so I didn't want that. Right, that makes sense. So, yeah, that was a thing. But anyway, it's Lan Taral. Lan Taral. Okay. So every we day, don't know that, yeah, right. retroactively. Uh, well, no, like I think her name was mentioned, right, by Isabel, right? Yous, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. She, she also, you yeah, oh, do know it because you would have found that there. out based on the yeah, getting the... to her throne ship, right? So no, that, yeah. That is, so you yeah, know of Lan Taral. Sister to Thonida. There's no hidden code to the name, I just like the way it sounded. Why does why does Lelantra come into my head? Is, was that what we were trying to think about? That's was that what, what we were trying to Lelantra was what I said her name was based on a placeholder. Right. Um, right, right, so that's okay, what I originally okay. called her, but it's too much like Lelandra, who is the Shi'ar queen in X Men. Okay. okay. Yeah. So let's not uh, rip off too much, shall we? And it's Lantaral for future notice. Um, what is the range on, like, a comm? Could, could a comm's device, like, communicate a ship in orbit? Uh, if the ship was doing all the heavy lifting, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to get a final hour, I think. Why not? 
Um, tinkle, tinkle. Can I also dial the phone or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, cool. Um, rings and uh, you get a wee holographic representation. Uh, so are you calling the, the final hour and then Finn answers? Finn? Ah, Finn! I forgot Finn was a thing. I really forgot. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I really forgot that I had an AI man. Like, it's been like half a session with the ship. Give me a break. <laughs> uh, ah, Finn. Uh, what's your location? Ah, Captain. Excellent. Perhaps you'll be assuming control of the vessel? Soon? Uh, um, yeah, is Alice there? The eyes look strained. <laughs> Alice is definitely there. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, I know those. I've had those eyes. I've had those eyes. I feel them. I feel them. Great. Um, we'll be rendezvousing in soon. Would you like us to send down the shuttle? That won't be necessary. We'll be approaching in a, um, a different shuttle. And I'm getting like the designation because you don't want to like, shoot it out the fucking sky, you know? Like. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of like knowledge things. Is, I see. Um, I kind of just like nods. Very good, sir. Very good. Uh, ho hold tight. I kind of like pauses. As a, you know, as much hesitation as a hologram can do, right? <laughs> and then says, "Yes, very good, Captain. I will be uh, holding tight." Ah, it's gonna need that. That's what he thinks in his seat. <laughs> and then, uh, I feel his pain. I feel his pain. He's been stuck with like Alice for a few days. She's probably ripped a few panels. Like, yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> oh, <God. No. laughs> I kind of think I have a slight idea I just don't know what yet <laughs> yeah. I definitely wasn't expecting Rose Gardens, that's for sure um, Great um, uh, The ship's in orbit I would say to everybody oh, Excellent Still flying that pile of junk? Ha, I would snigger. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Wait, she knows about that pile of junk. She knows about the other ship. Yeah, right. She called my ship a pile of junk. She has no idea. I mean, she's calling the ship that like she crashed in a pile of junk. Keep in mind, she golden doored to your location and then use went from. Ah. Uh. I guess she would never know the difference, right? like for the inside, maybe. Um, My NPCs don't make a game, how dare you? <laughs> not quite the same piece of junk. A little bit more um, armed now, might I say. She looks at CC briefly. Um, okay. <laughs> No, we're not watching out of star here. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, she kind of just nods and she's like, so... So can we hurry up and wrap this up, shall we? Please lead, lead the way. Yeah, I would give the sort of after you to Lyco. <laughs> okay. Like then after used to weird because he knows the way to the doctor, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The um, weird. This way. <laughs> <laughs> I will. The three way. I will duly follow. Did you pick up uh, CC by the way, or did you just uh, stay like 
because he was obviously just berating you, and then as you talked to other people, he just kind of stopped and sat with his arms crossed, I guess. I, I would have picked him up when I was telling him off about how dare you combat me, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Like, I would have, but... Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'd have still been telling him off as I was like, oh, you cute thing. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing that this guy ever did. <laughs> it's like having a baby that's done something completely wrong, but you're just... Mm. It's like they've just swore. You know you shouldn't have you shouldn't allow them to swear, but it's absolutely hilarious. Like uh -huh. <laughs> We'll see how long that uh, check keeps cashing. Yeah. I mean maybe one more shot in the back might might change mm. my tune, but Shot through the back. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe if she did the shoot Zag I might have been a wee bit more angry, but I mean like I mean, to be fine. fair, she did that because Zig stood in front of her shooting zombies, so... I mean, she didn't need to pull the putt trigger, all right? That I mean... is true, but he didn't need to stand in front of her. <laughs> right? He literally, like, martyred him. Um, but yeah. Also, I think only, um... We don't know about this. Only Lyco has, like, an inkling for something that might have happened. We, we didn't know about this. We didn't yeah. know about this. Mm. And I, well, I genuinely wasn't letting that affect my decisions. I, I just think. genuinely don't know how to handle this situation. I don't yeah. <laughs> It's valid, yeah. In character and out of character, I have no idea how to handle that situation. Would you like us to get you a baby born for the uh, I, boy? I might need like a vest beginner guide to like becoming a parent. Wait, he's an adult, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> I mean, Zig's an adult. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um. What I'm enjoying is on my Steam friends list, right? Just at the side. This is what's currently on display. I don't know who either of these people are, but I really appreciated the shorthand subtleties the universe was giving me. Egg. <laughs> Hazard 2. Egg. <laughs> we need to dispose of these people. This implies there's four eggs, though. Hazard 2. <laughs> The final. Oh, see, I just assumed that they were hazards to the egg, so... No, but it says two of four, I guess. Um... Oh, I never even saw that. Oh, I, I, yeah, I wasn't even factoring that, and it was just like hazard two egg. <laughs> Zig is the fourth egg. <gasps> hazard two egg is like what this would be called if it were a 90s manga. Uh, speaking of this game, though, I am... Um... <laughs> right, so where, where are you taking them? Weird. I'm just taking them to the doctors. Which is a wonderful back market doctor. Uh, uh, yeah, like, bones. Your, your knowledge is like how old on this? Uh, About five years. Yeah, this. That's, that's fair. I, um... Um, and I'm running the assumption that, yeah, things change a lot, but the doctor is the sort of street that there will be a doctor on, okay. even if it's not the same one. Rule the you main know. Starfinder skill. Culture. Yep. <laughs> we should just call it Starfinder. It is. Roll Starfinder. Yep. Um, to know things about Starfinder. See, to be fair, that would simplify the system a massive amount. If just you just had the one skill. And it's just called Starfinder. Mm -hmm. Right, so you get there, that's maybe. Like, Hive Market's a fairly big place, so you like you mm -hmm. you wander through and you go to where like, you last seen it, and it's not there, and you do the kind of you know, the almost chill game of having to find out where it moved to. Um, yeah, so I'm picturing that we've gone into somewhere where there's a lot of salvage mm -hmm. and and repo units, which is where a dodgy doctor is required. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Especially if things like backfire have booby traps on them or whatever, and then uh, yeah. like you get to the point where you find what passes for like you know the medical tent, as it were, um, and it's got some heavies outside it, some big show bed, and. Uh, oh, they're standing there and they look down uh, at the group, or at the group, depending on the height differences, I guess. And uh, yep. they see obviously the state, and it's like, med card. And they like, do that thing with their hand, like Neo wanting more fights. Do I know what med cards are? Is uh, that insurance? No. You've never heard of med card. In Showbed, I will ask them what's a med card. And uh, the other one, so there's two, the one that was talking to you, right, but his buddy just does that kind of laugh, harumph type noise. 
you know, and looks to the side. Like everybody thinks they can speak so bad, you know. And uh, the one that said my car's like, everybody that wants treatment needs a med card. And he's just saying this in common. And how do I get a med card? And he just looks at you and says, you, got, you gotta go speak to Greeting Durwa. And he points over, like the other side of Hive Market. Why? What, what is a med card? You gotta pay for the doctor. And he kind of like motions into the tent. We can pay for the doctor. Yeah, but you gotta have a med card. What's wrong with cash? Um, but grinning Derwa. He points again over at the far side of the market. So you tell them what Derwa I spoke to. Grinning Derwa's person huh? spoke to you. Yeah, but did I tell them that? I don't, I don't know. know. Explicitly. Would you I have? Let's just retroact it just now. Would you have? I I feel like I what? did. Then I think you did tell us. I recall having a chat because I, I do recall yeah. playing. I definitely talked about it. I'm not certain I used the name, but I feel like I did. You I definitely mentioned I you feel met like you mentioned it. Somebody. I feel like that's when we decided that Nyx had bad history. Yes, yeah, that is. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I think I recall saying. Uh, yeah. Yes, because I didn't ask. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, I did definitely. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at us remembering. Yes. <laughs> it happens. Um, so yeah, I just say, so you don't want money um uh i mean i i work for money so so if we give you money but i have a job when he points at the tent it's like i, I guard the tent yes and we will give you other money and you can continue to guard the tent you want me to guard the tent <laughs> no, you keep your job for Grinning Dola. We pay you. We go in. Do you have a med card? What's the show bad word for bribery? <laughs> I <you> say that. <laughs> cool. Um, do you want to give me a diplomacy? Absolutely. That is my <laughs> best skill. I'm just getting our year's worth of rolls in, by the way. <laughs> oh my lord. A 12. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> it probably is, to be honest. With my minus one modifier. Yeah. And well, clearly, it's it's like proportional like rolls versus checks and stuff, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Good roll for you is I, just a good... I'm actually just going to start taking the average now of all the rolls in the session to date. So, you know, the more you roll, the more average it gets, I guess. Um, or something. So yeah, like the guy's like getting confused, and then like the other big show bad guy kind of like crosses his arms and he says, "Listen, nobody gets inside to see the dock without a med card. You can pay us all the money in the world, and then maybe I would take a walk." And he starts nodding. Actually, yeah, <laughs> come back with all the money in the world. Or a med card, and then the other one that you've been speaking card. to, the other one that you've been speaking to, says, "Yeah, you need a med card to get inside." I look at the stupid one and I say, "Do you have a med card?" I am. Um, I'm not hurt. Yet. <laughs> oh God. It just kind of looks blankly. So do you just wait until you get hurt to get a med card? Um, I've never been hurt before. I look at the smart one. Do you like, have a med card? Oh, quite, it's like yeah, like he look. He's just looking like the fuck are you saying? Like to the other one, obviously, because he's like, why are you still speaking to them? Uh, him shaking his head. And when you said do you have a med card, he's like, what do I look like? Of course, I got a med card. How much do you want for it? And he looks you up and down. And he's like... I think the question is, how badly are you hurt? And he does that thing where he motions with his chin at you guys. Look at 
look at my friend. He's been killed. He needs medical attention. <laughs> <laughs> I say, shuffling Lyco in front of him. The, um, like one of the arms reaches back and uh, grabs him by the, the shoulder. So the slower Shobad leans down towards you, Lyco, and pats you on the shoulder, like slightly more heavy handed than intended, and goes, Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Um, weird, I'm not sure this plan is. I. You hear Isabel in the background say, How did I think we could ever kill a dragon together? <clears throat> like, uh, you can speak your way through this. It would be preferable than going to visit Smiley. Are we sure about that? You could always roll sense motive on a weird, right? <laughs> you know what? I will. Yes. Because why not? This is the rolling ah, system. Our modifiers. <laughs> yeah, your main is doing up against this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, do you want to just tell him whatever you would get from that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, weird is being selfish about this. He He just doesn't want to see okay. uh, Smiley. Yeah. Smiley. Um, I think, I think, I think uh, as I'm sort of looking at you, I get that's probably what it was assuming to begin with. Was like, yeah, you're putting both of, pieces of the puzzle together and you're realising... I think, yeah. think Lightwood does not typically think of Weird as a selfish guy. Um, mm -hmm. Which I think is a fair assessment. You're still wearing the cape? <laughs> I am still wearing the cape. <laughs> Listen, I'm wearing the Yeah, yeah, I know. Like a necro boy. Yeah. of death. Uh, um, I'm not sure what approach to take here, guys. Do I try and bluff my way in? Considering we've already had this conversation with them, I'm not sure how effective that's going to be, right? They know who we are and what we're here for. We're some random people who want access to the doctor, but we don't want to go through the proper channels. When I say proper channels, I mean the gangster. Yeah, the one hundred percent total like fucking racket that he's got going on. Well, the improper channels, but oh, they're yeah. the ones that are in place. Um, but one of them seems open to a bribe. The other one doesn't seem to understand what a bribe is. Yeah. So what's my play? Mm. I'm not sure. Out of character, I'm happy to be dragged to grinning. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah like character, character you would be. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm happy for you to be convinced round. Yeah. Okay. Like I will do the talking to Smiley. I will. Uh... I will. I will sigh dramatically, right? And ah, uh, oh, I guess we're just gonna have to come back once we've got those cards. Thank you for your time. Do and you... I will walk off. The um. Just before you do, when you say, like, what's well, to come back with those cards, I am, um, like, the slower one, like, pats you on the, the shoulder again and goes, Good luck with being dead. That's quite sweet. That's quite sweet. I don't, <laughs> I don't hate him. Uh, yeah. Who would have I known that Showbads? Who would have known that Showbads are, like, like, the pack board's greatest negotiators? Well, one of them was, <laughs> right? <laughs> one was just immune to diplomacy. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I literally just wander off in the direction I think there was and wait and see if they follow, you know? I'm not wandering off too quickly. Yeah, so weird tenses up and then straightens up. Mm. About turns and follows Lyco, but a couple of steps behind him. Cool. So, quietly, okay. And not with, you know, without turning around and quiet enough that, like, unless anyone is, like, immediately behind, they wouldn't necessarily get much of what I'm saying. Like, okay, so... Why was that preferable than just going to Durwa? I don't want to risk Durwa finding out who I am. Mentioned yeah, I didn't have the best relationship with him. He was... He wanted me to procure someone of interest to him so that we could establish a relationship. I'm guessing if we walked in together and he realized you were you, He'd probably consider you a good payment. I would be considered a person of interest. We did make him look like a bit of an idiot. 
how like many players back to his earlier advantage. Deal, right? <laughs> Where it's like, yeah. find me somebody interesting, yeah. Right. Yeah. So is it, can we play that to our advantage, or is this going to go downhill? It depends on what mood he's in. He is... I mean, you've met the man. He struck me as a jovial bully. He wants to always be the smartest, funniest in the room. Mm. I know people like that. Fun? I think I know people like that. Hey. <laughs> um. <laughs> Noble aspirations, I see. Is, 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 is anyone sort of fallen behind us just so we're clear? We've not just walked off. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, I think, yeah. As soon as Lyco no. walks off, I think um, like CC just pats Zora on the head a couple of times and then just points towards like Lyco. As if, by the way, they're walking off. Indication, you know. Uh, but... Which is very good. Yes, yes. Um, sometimes it can be useful when not shooting. He's like an alarm system. <laughs> yeah, he's very alarming. Yeah. <laughs> the alarm system, and he's like a home defense system. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, I'd say to Lyco, I will follow your lead on this and trust you. And you're generally better at reading people than I am. But I, uh... I will keep in mind that I am much better equipped than I was last time. And if things do go south, well, I won't shy away from it. Yeah, he seems to run this entire town, so I don't know how wise it would be to escalate if we can avoid it, but um Well How would you like to rip him off again? That would bring some enjoyment, yes. Uh, Zora, you got a text message. Uh, read. It says, um, rip him off, and then it's got, like, you know, a bunch of links to everything that could mean rip him off, and then links to <laughs> stab him in the back, double cross, between <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. I think they mean, I think they mean the double cross. Not, not the, and I would do the stabby motion. <laughs> yeah, then it comes up. But I used a gun. Ah! <sighs> you shouldn't. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> and you get another message Never that deal. says, "Are knives better?" Ah! Uh, neither. What neither. What's up? Yeah. Don't shoot without getting shot first. Ah, speaking right. Craig. CC, it's, it's cool. CC um, leans forward when like you start talking to obviously Lyco and like tries to put his hands over your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but he's mostly like, sprawled over your your head and face and snout. Okay, I, uh... <laughs> we might be able to take financial advantage of the uh, guy running racket around here. That's all. CC crawls back into like his place behind your neck. Preferably with little to no violence. How confident are you, Weird, that if you were handed over, you would be able to remove yourself from his custody? Isabel speaks up. She clears her throat, like, very obviously. It's like, if I could slightly interject, and looks at her watch, goes, I feel like we're adding days to what could have just been a go buy a med card and then go get help. D d is there not another doctor we could just go to? In this town? No. Why would we just, we just came on. here? We could just go to Daza. I'm okay with that plan. It doesn't get us any money, but it would avoid any unpleasantness. We can 
we can return to this at a later time when things are less pressing. It's like, w was there some grander plan at work here? And she, most likely, she has no idea why this this like excerpt exists, right? Um, it's um, it would it would take explaining, and uh, like you say, time. I'm with Isabel on that. So you're saying we don't need the money? Oh, we we need money, but do we need to be? We need to be trying to set something up here and now. Is that because it's risky, and it might be, it might be easier to return to this at a later date. Yes, but we're here now, Isabel. How how are you doing for money? And she, uh, she like straightens up, like awkwardly. I have savings, why? She's with a bank, man. You want us to save time. <laughs> you want us to save time by foregoing a paycheck before setting out on a dangerous a mission. No, 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 no. Let's, let's take this a couple of steps back. What he was implying was you would just turn yourself over for some bounty. And then walk out of there. She looks like just lost, right? Like that is the look she's got. Like she can't believe she's having to try and like explain why she thinks that's a dumb idea. Um, and she's like, "So you're saying the choice is go to Daza to just hand over money for medical attention, or stay here and hand yourself in on the hope you can just." walk out. Could you not teleport? She draws you like a dirty look. <laughs> That's it. There's like no reply. Yep. There's just a dirty look. <laughs> I guess I think it's not that easy. I'm sorry, I assumed that getting me to the other side of a wall would be easier than stealing our ship to put it in a cave full of dragon. So let's let me get this right. You've 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 evolved your plan to include me. I'm uh, sorry. I thought that it would be quicker that way. Not doing it is quicker. Yes, but that also results in us paying and getting nothing. And she like just exhales, and uh, like, oh, for listing things I used to have, I used to have a mech as well. And she looks up at. CC, CC mm -hmm. just turns his head and looks the other way. So you need more well, money to get an arm back in, right? <laughs> oh no, I'll get my mech back. And you just hear CC he start to like chipping. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, you can feel like the grip from his lower hands like tighten around your neck because he's obviously holding on more angrily. And then the other <sighs> hands are like, like tapping on your head. <laughs> Like <laughs> emphasizing his crazy, you know, speech that he's giving. <laughs> it's probably epic as well. Like, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, he's an orator, clearly. <laughs> Weird. You have contacts here, right? So, how about how about we shelf this for now? But. We um start moving things in place for a bit of a you know a, 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 a renegotiation of the uh, arrangement. A palace coup, yes. If you want to call it that, I think I'll we, hit the message boards. I think we can give him what he wants, and then. Fleece them for everything. That sounds profitable. I look around at, at, at Furler, just in case you're judging me. You know, he's a gangster, so it's fine. Chen looks, and like, you can clearly see that she's using like her rifle to like also walk, right? I am. Um, and she's like, 
I just need to see a doctor. I don't care if that's in a comfy luxury you know, shuttle for eight hours or if that is a no. And she just gives you like a blank look at that, implying just give her the magical words that is we get to see a doctor at this point. I yeah, I, I agree. I'm saying we can set things up here. We uh we take a bit of a rain check on it. It just sounds like you're gonna piss off a warlord. Ah, uh, what a bit of false time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> How is that working out for you guys? Um We're alive? Yeah, last time I saw the warlord he was lying bleeding on a floor. Um Like yeah, things could be worse. Right. But, but, I, I I don't disagree. I do think this is a long way for a shortcut. You know? Also, they did tell Zora that Edgar's alive. That has come up. So, I, I know, I know. Yeah, but, but I mean, but also, but also mm -hmm. a bit daily. Well, we're thinking about assassinating, like, fucking leader of the Vesk army. So, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gangster warlord. Nothing. <laughs> True that, right? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I, uh, I do, I, yeah. I, I mean, this this is all going to take time and effort, even if it's goes cleanly at all. And, Let's go know, to the church. Know. They could send medical attention. There's a church the other side of Hive Market. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would actually laugh at that. <laughs> Uh, CC climbs down. <laughs> CC climbs down and just hides behind your leg, so you can't see him. <laughs> they, they kept, kept in, Why is um, that funny? Ah, uh, uh, nothing. Um, let's just say that the church is a little bit uh, disposed, indisposed. <laughs> <laughs> Probably both work. <laughs> and she just looks blankly at the group again, like, okay, so no church, no doctor, no warlord. What then? Well, you said it yourself earlier, and I agree. We can't get it here, okay? So we just make the trip to Daza. I know it's back to the shuttle bin. I would drop up my ocular wrenches. Oh, onwards. CC <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, tags that you and obviously wants up. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would let Bob mm -hmm. do, I'll do the thing. Yeah. I think we should maybe uh, look into. Exactly, uh, what's happening with uh, your gang in this world? Well, I'm just concerned that uh, maybe they already know more than they let on. Or I think the more I see potential complications, so let's tread lightly. Yes. Mm. That's what this group are known for. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if people are anything, I will also add. So. Yeah, so she just starts walking back to the show. I assume everybody else follows. <clears throat> yeah, I guess. I'm, try I'm desperately trying to oh, not um, go off by myself. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, like, is there something you would want to go off by yourself for? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Right, but hypothetically in the alternate timeline. No, no, no. Okay, cool. So, he's going back to the shuttle. He's going to Daza. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Cool, yeah. So, yes, yes, yes. use 
dock at Daza, you still have like rent, I think, of the. Uh, I think he's paid for was it two days or some shit? Like I feel like he's paid for. So Yeah. If not, that's what happened now. Um so I think still... it was two days. Yeah. I do think it was two days. Either way, you still have a docking pad assigned to you guys, so you just, you just land there, yeah. <laughs> cool. She looks at her uh, wrist device, pushes a couple of buttons and then like, you know, pulls up from the back of her neck like the helmet that like encases her. I am um, you know, almost like a hood, but the whole thing like is like armor plated, and it all like solidifies, so her armor is sealed. Yeah, I I will stick on like as much of my uh, survival gear as I need to cover the bits that aren't covered by my armor. Mm -hmm. It's probably just like a helmet and that, because the armor should provide some protection, right? Hey, uh, I think according to the rules, all suits of armor. Um do have like yeah. environmental protection anyway, so yeah, yeah, you don't need to like do patch job work unless you aesthetically want that. Um, no, no, it's, it's just that I, I did say like there's no helmet in this armor, mm -hmm. um, so I just like kind of imagine I'm having a like sort of weirdly out of place futuristic tech -y helm on a kind of medieval fantasy looking armor. Mm -hmm. um, uh, everybody else suiting up, yep. yeah, yeah, cool. Not um, having another noodle incident, no. Best not. Sure. No. Uh, that means a completely different thing, by the way. <laughs> Noodle incident is actually a, a, a term. But uh, where are you going? Like, I think that's what SK, or Prisley Isabel says. She's standing at the. What do you call it? Airlock? Um, says, uh, where to? Good question. I don't think I've all been myself, but we are. <laughs> Kind of looks like a you said weird. You're, you're a doctor. So I was uh, talking. Sorry. Oh, right, I okay. had music in my headset. Cool. You're um, back with us. <laughs> so I shall repeat myself, uh, saying to the hospital this way. Yeah, and uh, sure, sure, sure. yeah, and uh, again, more hours pass. So it's already been eight hours by this point. Uh, it's probably another. Does anyone one. want noodles? <laughs> I'm a bit peckish now. Now, now that you've said it. <laughs> I once. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Maybe um, not. After some nonsense chat all the way. Uh, <laughs> like, you have a choice of two alleyways and you see that um, Sparks is in one, so you choose the other, obviously. Um, assuming you don't go speak to Sparks. And uh, then, yeah, you just head towards... Uh, <laughs> you, uh, Probably it was a proper derailing option. Um, mm. and then, uh, I'd probably just give him a smile as I'm walking by. Probably start screaming. Too much. <laughs> Don't smile at the crazy man. No, he, he, he's well He's well down the alleyway, so you, you know he's there because he's trying to sell bin bags to people. Um, and uh, we know how, that's a fairly profitable business, apparently. Um, but yeah, he heads uh, the other way, sadly, and you uh, continue down to the clinic. Yeah. So he's get there. And uh, yep. everybody's favourite um, medical assistant, Morty, is there. <laughs> he spits out his face in the, in the tub. And he's like, oh, you're back. Yes, I've come to collect my queen. Uh, this rat needs to, uh, this, sorry. I've got yeah, so keen these two seats. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. That stung. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot the word. I don't think it hurt Zig, but it definitely hurt me. Yeah. yeah. The, right. See, the problem is I was going to I was trying to find the right word and I landed on Skaven first. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, fair. That's the wrong that's fair. Um, yeah. I have a Skaven on so the game, so <laughs> Yeah, yes. I had to try and adjust away from Skaven. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go far enough. Yes, um, yes, I'm going to think. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yes, if you want to, uh, <laughs> if you do want to wreck on Zig to be a Skaven, uh, I mean, no, please. You're, you're working. <laughs> he doesn't have to wreck on it, he's working his way up to the kill count. Um, I suppose yeah. he does use radiation. Yeah. Uh, we, can, can we smash the uh, Warhammer world into the Starfinder world? Yeah. Right, I mean, give, give us enough time, right? This game's not really ending anytime soon, so why do <laughs> 
<laughs> Any <laughs> plans for closure are just no. I mean, I've already brought Doctor Who in. You can but, just jump uh, universe, right? Like, just find Query again, right? Tell him to open yeah. a door to that universe and regret. Yep, we barked this one. Let's let's mm -hmm. roll out. <laughs> yep. Can't Take two. Up. Yep. That's season two of Starfinder. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um. <laughs> it's a quantum leap. Game there. <laughs> uh, where Scootermander has invaded the vest. It's all, oh no. It's all the same story. <laughs> uh, it's different mistakes each time. So yeah. So, um, yeah. The scene, uh, the Eskil key, yes. Uh, I've come to collect my queen. The Ahsoka needs to see somebody about some medical results. And these two require, well, the, uh, what's, she's not really an angel, is she? She's a human. <laughs> I just remember her being was masculine. Um, like, well, if by that you mean her sword was white and her gun came from white light, then yes. Yeah, that gives me very angelic vibes. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you're allowed to believe that. I'm like she had. I'm very... gonna call her an angel. Cool. Yeah, she probably like oh, that. Uh, yep. Or maybe like a Evangelion type oh, angel yeah. found oh, in human form. Yeah. I mean, it's that she did, you know, she has been resurrected, so... Yeah, there is that, there's right? But then who has been this party, well. right? Oh, wait. Um... Wait. Um, uh, <laughs> I think, I think only, I think only, uh, only me is <laughs> such <That's> fine. <laughs> oh, no, wait, is Zig? Has Zig been resurrected yet? Have you died yet, Zig? Inside, um... maybe. <laughs> Zig's gone all right. I don't think Zig ever lived. Um, um, yeah, so... I think Mario's like, oh, jeez, um... We'll uh, share a round of physicals for the whole party. Um, who, who's who, who's first? And he sets his noodles tub down. Angel, you're up. She looks what? at you. <laughs> she kind of like rolls her eyes, like in a kind of mm, I see what you're doing kind of way. And uh, <laughs> is it because of the church thing? And she walks forward, <laughs> and she looks at you like how she like kind of squeezes in between the two of you, and she's like, <laughs> "It's because of my looks." And she laughs. Um, and then she walks past. I would just scratch my head and go, what's that angel? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like a pacifist. Um, <laughs> and it's like, I will uh, require medical attention. And then uh, I think we uh, flash cut to just what everybody needs then at this point, right? I am... Um, so, medical uh, montage. And your life, man. Uh, medical montage. Right, right so Zora, you looked over, right? I'll just I'll do it in the, the, the form of easiest first. Uh, Zora, Psychological help. Can I make a request as well? Don't you do it with uh, like a, an indie soundtrack and it can be like the end of the Scrubs episode? <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> nice. We also, Give uh, more or less. Are you taking CC in with you out of interest, Zora? <laughs> uh, is, that, is, 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 is CC also included in the, the medicals? Is it a parent child counsellor at this hospital? <laughs> uh, no, I think you just paid Nesma Keklik enough. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't the help I'm getting. Um, How does one deal um, <laughs> with children? So maybe that's part of the montage. Old. Is it just it's somebody sit, like Nesma Keklik sat with a clipboard in front of you and CC on separate chairs um, facing him? Um, so we, we, we click by that. Because. Um, just FYI, CC would never submit to a medical. Um, yeah, obviously. No, no, he's really paranoid enough. Um, having his data on file, never. He'll sit through counselling because he gets to shout, though. Um, <laughs> and then, let me go to Zig, right? And Zig and his blood work. Um, so. A blood magic. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Marty is with you in the private room and says. So um, much like last time, you'll you'll need to see like an Ahsoka expert. We don't really know much about your blood, um, but we 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 can refer you to somebody. Okay, um, do you want to do that then, please? Thank you. Yes. Um. There, there's a small charge for referral. Of course, there is. Uh, how how much? Uh, t t t t twenty tw twenty credits. I don't think it's exciting. Goes oh yeah okay fine. Uh, and he pays the twenty credits. Yeah. I guess. And he just goes into like like a filofax thing and pulls out a card that's all holographic and shit and hands it to you. 
and it says, um, you know, are you missing parts? Come see Whistle. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, almost like a cartoon mouse face, but it looks also like a whistle. So the whistle has whiskers. I like it. Biggest. I like it. Whiskers. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. Whis- um, yep. Yeah. Um, you turn it over, and on the back, uh, they're based in the Hive Market. Oh. <laughs> 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 it takes heart stinks. Is there like a number on it that he can call? Uh, yeah, there definitely is. Right. Um, do you want to call it? Yeah, I think he would do call you the number. Have a call? Um, <laughs> I do, yes. Mm-hmm. And it is hooked uh, up yeah. to the network currently because it's the one that it was is. programmed to risk you for the bullshit tips and <laughs> the hotline. Um, arguably, yeah, how is it going to find you? Um, and uh, yeah, uh, there's this little gruff voice on the other side. Like it's kind of like almost like um, I don't want to be stereotypical here, but when you you know phone for a taxi, if anybody has ever done that, such an archaic thing to do. Um, mm. It's like a gruff female voice on the other side saying. Med cards. How many do you need? I think <laughs> Zig says, um, uh, I guess however many of us there are four, five, six, six. I've been referred from, I'm in, I'm in Daza, see, uh, I've been referred to got some for blood work. Um, press five. Five. Okay. Can I get six med cards too, please? Are you going to collect them? Uh. Do you know what? I'll phone back uh, and then press this five. Okay. Yeah. Choice. Choice. It goes to um, the referral number. And a. Uh, you hear another voice, and it sounds a lot younger, a lot younger, and um, I guess male this time. And it says, referrals. Hi, I, I'm I'm in... Uh, Name, please. I've been referred from... Oh, the Zig. That with an S or a Z? Z. <laughs> oh, with a Z, okay. Yeah. And then yeah. you hear a clack, clack, clack. And then uh, they say... And who referred you? Um, uh, Morty in 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 Daz, I guess. Oh, and get, I guess he gives the um, whatever information he's supposed to give. Supposed <laughs> that, that that's what you know. So yeah. and you just hear okie dokie, clack 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 clack. And uh, and what's this referral regarding? Um. Oh, never mind. It, it's came through one zig. Oh, good. You're in a soak. That's me. I am a Yusuke, yeah. How did you know? It says so on the file. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes, that's, that's, that's what me. Say. It says so in the file. That's the last thing. Yeah. And you're coming in, yes? Um. Well, Hive Market's a bit inaccessible right now. It says you're calling locally. I'm I'm in Daza. That's not too far away. It's a bus right away. Um <laughs> uh, 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 th- 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 the audience th- laughs. The thing about buses um, <laughs> um I have a there's a um I can't, I'm not allowed on buses, see. Um bad 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 time. Uh uh, okay. Trauma, uh, not not good. Um, but I've had some bloods done. Do I've been told I need to see the specialist about my blood? Oh, you're that one, right? The blood rat. Okay. Uh, yeah, the blood rat. And I think he like um <laughs> keeps like kind of saying that in his mind. Mm-hmm. The blood rat. Uh, yeah, you should definitely make your way to Hive Market. We can't, um, we can't say this over open comms, unfortunately. Uh, this is definitely a 
a face-to-face -face conversation for this type of sensitive information. Um, but yeah, come see us. Um, I think I, hearing that, I think Zig panics a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he does that thing where he's like, oh, and, and you know, trying not to, to look alarmed while he's on the phone. Maybe he's kind of walked back out to the, the reception area while he's on the phone kind of pacing. Um, but yeah, he's very, he's very kind of like, oh, okay. Um, right. Okay. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll be there that whenever I can. Uh, we look um, forward to seeing you. Just ask for like, Gur. Ask for Gur. I'm going to have to write that down. Okay, Gur. Oh, are, are you Gur? Am I? Or do I just ask for Gur? See you then. <laughs> hangs oh. up. Bye. Um, and obviously he hangs up and goes, um, okay, 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 okay. And you just like hear yeah. from the, like right behind you. Morty's standing there in his lab coat and his like boxer shorts and his like yellow t-shirt and his noodles that he's eating right behind you on the phone. That was a bit awkward. Uh. And I think then we cut to a weird. Something weird is still with us, not muted. Definitely still muted. Or mute. Or mute. Yes, you're correct. Stuck with elective mutism. Mm. Hi. Hello. I'll go back. Um, <laughs> this new headset's great. So you you were in an office with Nesma Keklik. Um <laughs> and he taps the side of his head and taps like you know, like gestures as if he's tapping the side of your head but doesn't touch you. I tap the side of my head. He kinda of nods and he's waiting to see if you're gonna nod back. I'm not back. Cool. Yeah, and you hear him telepathically in your mind. And he's like, uh, you asked for a physical? Yes. Uh, any particular concerns I should be aware of? Well, this body's slightly new to me, so I just want to make sure it's still where it's supposed to be. Okay. A recent awakening? Uh, no, the opposite. He tilts his head to the side and then starts like, writing stuff on his... Uh, data pad. Uh, any details you're willing to supply uh, could perhaps uh, answer questions before they become questions. Yes, I am the same soul but in a different body. Uh, was this done willingly or forcibly? That's a difficult question. It happened. I guess my consciousness drove the process to a certain extent. But I wouldn't say, well, my subconscious more likely. Nods. Yes. Writes more things down. And any physical abnormalities beyond the change? I I mean, that is the main one. Is I'm now a couple of feet taller and I've got an extra pair of arms. I mean, the body itself is working better than ever. But uh, it's mostly checking that everything is in place and it's not going to... Hit a one foot and fall over. Any dephasia at all due to the extra limbs? Any what? Sorry? It just says the word dephasia. Dephasia. Uh, no. And then he just kind of like nods and says, okay, I am. I would recommend a course of Space Drug X. I don't intend to name space drugs. Um, and try this for a week. And then please fill out this questionnaire. And then swipes it to your com. So there's a. What is this? There's a bill that just says it's going to be a thousand credits. What does this drug do? Uh, it will alleviate any physical abnormalities. Any physical abnormalities. He kind of clicks some more things on his data pad when you say that, and then looks up and nods. Says yes. What counts as a physical abnormality? I'm in a new body. Yes. So is it going to undo that? 
unknown if these uh, changes are mutational in nature then they will be uh, removed this process could be painful um, if this is a natural development in so far as the body is not willing or likely to reject said changes then you will be unchanged it will be a catalyst to discovery and taps like his data pad twice so if I want the arms to stay, they stay. Kind of like nods his head side to side as if he's thinking about that phrasing. And then he says, more likely that if they were supposed to stay, they will stay. And then nods. And what if the entire body is in some way not appropriate? Like... Do not take the drug. Just nods. I shall not take the jog then, please. Then I think you're fine. Taps in his data pad. I assume that updates the bill. Yeah, and it goes just, it drops by a zero. Okay. But the, the scans, there's no horrendous surprises. Were the arms a surprise? Somewhat. Was it horrendous? No. Then, nope, as far as I can tell, no horrendous surprises. Um, do you do any, like, physical evaluations just to check for general health? I'm going to, like, shrugs. And he's like, I... What, what do you mean? Well, you know. What do you do for humans? Blood pressure? Or maybe lung capacity? I, check for... Humans it's have blood diabetes. and lungs, yes. They have those. Uh, okay. You were scanned when you walked into my office and the data goes to my data pad. And everything looks okay on the pad. He holds you the pad and it's got like, you know, like a kind of LCD outline of like your basic shape. And there are many question marks. And he shrugs goes, seems fine. What do the question marks mean? It means that there's no reason why you should look that way. Or how you went through some kind of self propelled metamorphosis. So what you're saying is none of your tools tell you anything about how I'm doing physically? I, no, I mean everything works. But you don't know how or why. And he kind of like thinks on that and he says it would be like trusting that your trip to Castroville in the shuttle the shuttle gets you there you don't necessarily ponder who manufactured said shuttle unless you are of vested interest in such things I understand you have a vested interest in yourself and your physical and metaphysical well-being, but I think you made a priest for this sensor. Okay, but I know everything there is to know about the shuttle that got me to Castroville. But we are talking about this shuttle. Any kind of gestures to your body? That's not the point. I know about the shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of like uh, taps the part uh, where the bill's highlighted again. For the the checkup, and he just nods. Fine. Yeah. So like uh, yeah, you, you you pay. Yep. And then uh, yeah, like do you mention the queen at all or? Oh, I'll pick her up on the way out. <laughs> I assume. Sure. Um, From the queen collection bay. Uh, do you have that conversation with Nazma Keklik at all? I assume that Morty's on it. I mean, yeah, you can... I, I, that was the first thing I said to him. It was. You're right. <laughs> and I expect Morty to follow all of my instructions. It's fine. Yep, so you head, um, you head out there. You go left. The doctor goes right. You head towards reception. Doctor heads towards Lyco. And uh, 
we have you ask about the Queen, obviously, in reception, and we, we, we go to Lyco, and it cuts to... Hey, hey, hey Morty! Morty! Uh, <laughs> y- yeah? Where's my Queen? Where's my Queen, Morty? She's... she's um... <laughs> 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 oh, jeez, Nix! <laughs> <laughs> Which sounded better than uh, weird to say. Um, but yeah, uh, he's like, oh, and he spits his noodles back into his tub and then like goes through the back. And then we click to, to Lyco and yep. that's kick, like, like, you know, opens the curtain, walks in, closes the curtain, turns round, looks up, looks down, looks up, and he says, taps the side of his head and then gestures to you. Yeah, I'll communicate with him. Um, yeah, like, if you did, like, you'd give him like an affirmative, essentially. Yeah, I'd give him a, a very slight nod. And he says, uh, "Do I recognise him?" I, I, I mean, I think so. Right, yeah. this is a doctor. Sure, you kind of weird. So it's also but, a doctor yeah. you trusted, right? Yeah. Um, and he actually then immediately breaks the silence by mentally telepathically saying, uh, "It's not often I see former patients." And, uh, yeah, just internally, I, I would say, oh, it is you. I thought so. How would you end up here? Uh, clinic on Absalom. Destroyed. Yeah, a lot of that. Many people relocated. Um, many people needed cheap medical attention on Akaton. Seemed like profitable. Just not. Um, sort of uh, continuing to speak internally is to say, that, you know, I've, 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 uh, I've noticed some differences I can't quite put my finger on. And uh, there's also this. Um, so speak aloud to him with the revo- reverb. The voice, yeah. 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 Which I I'm not going to try and do no, because I it's, I don't know how I would. Yeah. It's okay. Just, well, like my, just like say my it voice in the post. Thing now. Yeah. Um, well, I did in post. Yeah. So he um. Clacks on his data pad a couple of things and he like brings up like old files. Remember the kind of like green highlighted, black highlighted kind of spots all over your body scan. Yeah. And he says. There are. Changes, I have noticed. And taps the throat, obviously on him. Yeah. And then he, he shows There's you side by side. There's also the adrenal gland since the last saw the well, I was going to say, yeah, like you see um, your side by side scans, and you can see that, um, like you've got on the left hand side your old scan that had all the stuff as per that session, and then you've got the scan of now, and then you've got like the projections that like show like a decaying heart, etc. Um, and various like stages of what the computer projects could have caused whatever has happened. Um, you also notice that the scan on the right is a lot like sketchier in terms of like if something was blocking a signal, right? Like interference. Right. Um, like artifacting, I guess, on like an MRI or something. And he, uh, he says, your natural, and then he, he corrects himself, your current energy output has increased. That's not surprising. I've been exposed to quite a lot of negative energy very recently. Is this why you're on Akaton? For my records, um, and he like scrolls through like you know, pages and pages on his data pad, and he's like, "Yes, the um, one of the Eoxian cruisers have crashed on Akaton." Um. Uh, he holds up the, the yes. energy wave signature, and then yours. Obviously, they're like yeah. not exactly identical, but they're like you know, pretty damn close. And uh, yeah, just yeah, that was that was one major reason. He flicks um, up and he shows you your original one, your original energy signature. Um, that let's let's get really really sciencey here, right? And if we're all looking at the map, if I'm um, I'm gonna freehand this, if this was the energy signature of the ship, and then 
we go green for like what yours is just now. Right. And then we'll go for blue for what yours was before. Huh. Which means it was present that there was like residual negative energy surrounding you. Now it seems to be a bit more volatile. It looks stronger but less stable. Okay, nods. You think I'm going to experience further changes then? Yeah. And he brings up the two scans of when he last scanned you, and then the time before that, and the time before that. And he, and he kind of nods and he says, It seems to be exponential to a degree. <sighs> okay. Um, so when I first woke up, I didn't have any noticeable changes other than I didn't look great and uh, felt kind of weird and people tended to notice it, but uh, it wasn't anything too specific. Well, the veins and the eyes sometimes, but it took a few years before this sort of started to get really noticeable. Um, you say exponential. Uh, you know, how, how, how long should you project before it's, you know... He laughs, like in some weird, horrible, shrilling clicking. Um, <laughs> it's just... Do you remember like the... like way back in school in music and you had the thing called the whip? No. And it was like a, a rattly wooden thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Yes. Um, I'm imagining a rat was next to you. Yeah. It's like the sort of like spring, like wooden thing that you just kind of like, well, whip, and it go clack. Yeah. So okay. Like, All right. I'll show you a picture on there. Or just... It's like a wooden paddle with like a spring loaded paddle on it as well. Yeah. It's not a million miles away from that. Yeah, I don't think I ever used such a thing, but I can kind of imagine. Yeah, you're not a million miles away from Rattlesnake, to be honest. Um, but yeah, like, he kind of laughs like that. Um, and he finishes your sentence by saying, Fatal? <laughs> um, no, not that. I kind of have an idea. Because um, it's usually supposed to be a few hundred years, so that's positive, but... You know, I'm maybe pointing to like the, the the data pad. Like, I mean, you're going from that to that, and what? That's like a year. That's like three. That's uh, and, uh, how long before nothing on here? So he and pulls he it right through those gun. Looks like that. And then he, he brings up the, you know, like a blank kind of, um, like a blank worksheet, if you will. And then like he starts to like doodle on it. And he like marks off um, some sigils on it, like a timeline. And then uh, he like draws a line, and then draws like a rudimentary like space station shape for Absalom, and then draws another line, and then draws the same thing but like with a big cross through it. Uh, and then he points and he says, "So we have your scans are all from here." And he taps the Absalom without a cross. And then and he scan, he like pushes forward to the like, the latest one, and he says, "And this is from then." And taps the the blown up Absalom. And he says. And he draws like a skull shape in the middle, in between the two. And he yeah, like taps that in the air, if you will. And he says, "I think your condition was accelerated by the uh, Eoxian presence on Absalom." Because I would have assumed through the year of working for a uh, Sindel, yeah. you would have kept going to Nazma Keklik. Yeah, I think he would have at least so, a couple of times. So, yeah. so like, I feel like this conversation has maybe came up where, you know, it definitely has been hinted at, but there was no data at the time because it was at the time, right? But we're now after the fact by a year, so yeah. you can definitely see the effects of this. And then he says, "You, you may stabilize if this is reaching to a stable point." 
And he kind of laughs again and he says, I mean, the ships do fly, after all. Um... I mean, I get what he means, but I think I think mm. like his mind's just quite blank for for you know. I think it's just also this not... guy is like you and him have a bit of a working relationship in the ter- yeah. in the sense that like he isn't exactly um he wants to try and give you some level of comfort without lying to you, right? Laiko is sort of just mentally silent for a moment, <laughs> mm-hmm. just and then you know again thinking to uh, that's okay, like. If it doesn't stabilize, current. If the current trend continues, how long before none of it's? How long before nothing's? And it's it's like he can't even quite think the word. He says original for you. Um. I, I think like I'd not been quite looking at him, maybe looking at the scans, maybe that point mm-hmm. Lyco looks up at him and actually makes eye contact mm-hmm. for the first time in like a couple of minutes and he says aloud, Yeah, let's go with original. And then he brings up the again the projections of the how far it's done and he says Are we expecting any more encounters of a New Yorkian nature to occur? Should I factor those into the projection? I would... Within the next few months, probably. Less, then. He kind of like, awkwardly holds his data pad. Is the data pad true in anything specific? It, no, like he's awkwardly like holding it, like yeah. somebody like tapping, like with like imagine he's holding it between both hands against his chest, and he's kind of like tapping his fingers on it because he's uh, not giving you any good news because he's just said yeah. less than because you've said in the next yeah, few months, like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, less than that if you keep exposing yourself. And then uh, after like maybe a bit of silence, mentally or otherwise, he says, "This is hypothetical, of course." Uncharted, all of this is. The, um. Who's to say this won't result in one of the bone sages? He kind of shrugs. I think my head turns towards him at that point. He's staring at, like, the projections and the hologram. It's, like, filling the room. I would stand up from the. You know, whatever bed or chair or yeah, whatever yeah, it is. To yeah, and he'll, he'll look at you. Hmm. Yeah. There's um. There's some information that I would like to share with you. Um. I think you'll find it interesting. But he pushes data pad like down so he can like tap on it and swipes to, like a new page and starts like clacking away and looks up at you. Expectantly. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, uh, give this to you in confidence because I think you use it well. Yeah, like, the, he uh, he um, just puts his data pad down by his side and kind of nods and doesn't go to, like, type on it. You remember the Bone Sage I was working with? Kind of, like, nods slowly, yeah. The gangly one. An Absalom. Well... There is going to be an effort to revive him. And I believe he may have a lot of the answers regarding my condition. Specifically because I am informed he is responsible for the creation of You hear the laughing noise again. And he puts his hand up almost like apologetically. He says, so he is seeking a second opinion. And a... We end the session there, I think. Okay, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So, yeah. (laughs) I could have went for longer, to be honest, but we are running way over. Um, Yeah, I'm quite Just trying to make up for our our hour that we lost at the start. Um, (laughs) But, what are we... We didn't lose it. Sure, we we just mastered our own We used it expertly. (laughs) 
speaking of which, what are we calling this? Seeking a second opinion. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, opinion's like, a, it's a pretty good one, actually. Not bad, is it? Because um... it ties into the going from Hive Market to Zazla mm -hmm. as well. Which... And now I've got to go to Hive Market again. Oh, if you have information about the blood rat. Yeah. <laughs> um... Um, I've got on my, I've got on my, my note here, just um, <laughs> blood rat quest. Blood rat! The fury of Blood. Yeah. Oh, uh, it could okay. be like the the edgy like uh, other gang that's like you got the junk rats and you got the blood rats. And yeah, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I found my new calling. Seeking a second opinion. Yeah. There we go. Sorted. Perfect. Uh -huh. That was the easiest session that we've ever named. Maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So let's talk about goals. Any get done? Uh, no, no, not yet. We've almost done four, right? Almost done four. Yeah. I'm trying. Yep, it is so close to being done, but it's that last part. Because I don't want to just skip over that. I want that to be a scene, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like her being recovered is important. Um, in all the ways it could possibly be interpreted. Um, <laughs> And uh, yes, Zig the Blood Rat, and uh, <laughs> he's a vampire. Um, but yeah, I don't drink wine. Is there <laughs> um, anything else uh, goal-related that has come up that people wish to discuss or alter? Or are we good? Ah, uh, I'm personally good. Hmm? Good. I... Uh, can I make a suggestion? Um, Alex, the, regarding the new drunk rats, I think that is something that we should definitely pursue, partly yeah. because of the gambit of, you know, right. taking over this town. Um, but also, yeah, taking over Durwood's territory, yeah. Yes. But we should maybe move in in that, like, after we've accomplished, you know, maybe take down one of the sort of big overhanging things and then yeah. make that part of the sort of post-operation clean-up. I don't think we're going to have a choice in the matter, regardless, anyway. Cause... Oh, we never do, but let's yeah. just... <laughs> Operation wiping yeah. the grin off Durwa's face. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> not goals at the moment, but yeah. I think the thing is, though, you could use the new Junkrats to help with this Durwa plot, right? Well, that yeah. Lyco was thinking. I was going to say something too weird about it, but the opportunity didn't really quite come up, because I sort no, of wanted I... to see it just to him. Mm. I picked up on that, too, though. But I'm aware that that's a thought. Because, yeah, out of character, Lyco was going to suggest basically sacrificing one of those <laughs> friends of his, which is extremely mercenary, but he's like, yeah, can't be that close. Well, do you I want to change hookup with them to just recruit them? Or is that what we mean by hookup? That's what I meant by hookup. That's fine, so long as that's what we mean. So it's not just meet them, yep. it is in fact recruit them. Cool. Yes. Perfect. Excellent. We have checkpointed that. That works for me. I think that's quite a good way, because I think if you get them, they might have more relevant, like, up-to-date mm. info on what the political status quo is in the uh, hive market area um, like I would say that probably like CC is of no use at all in that regard because they don't have a lot of high tech stuff here yeah. like maybe there's one or two gems amongst all the rough right but yeah CC probably cared about other places um, despite having like an underground layer, as it was put, um, on Akaton of all places. Uh, anything else goal related? Not for me. No. Cool. I mean, Zig definitely wants to get his blood checked because that's concerning. But I think. I mean, there there is a little, a little plot hook in there just to drag but, us back. But I think, like, it you would don't need be... to go back. You could just abandon that entirely. Just means that thing um, about his blood never gets answered. Yeah, and he might just die. <laughs> of blood <laughs> death. Um, but no, I think, uh, yeah, that, that's definitely probably something for after um, mm. solar jank. So you feel, as Callum, it's more likely you'll speak to the Radiant Supreme than a doctor about your blood. 
I think it's definitely. I, th- I think it's more. I'm more likely to not want to go back to to Hive Market right now and head over to the the Solar Monastery than cool. head over to Hive Market is what I'm. Cool. And just for my own notes as well, uh, Nico, you told uh, Finn to expect the arrival of your shuttle. Yes. Cool. Just as I don't need to then remember last minute that I was supposed to meet you on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, did expect cool. us. Cool. And he'll prepare the second shuttle bay that now exists on the <laughs> ship, purely to accommodate this. Um, so, uh, yeah, sure. That that sounds like a plan. Uh, let us move swiftly on to the wrap up chat then, shall we? Um, wrap up. And why don't we just randomly, because of no reason at all, I. Uh, Start with a Lego. I can't imagine why anyone would ever consider doing that. Um, You're right. Let's go with weird instead. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but I, I will, uh, I will uh, be brief. Um, I know I always say that, but I, I well, because uh, I'm quite tired. Yeah, no, it, it was a, it was a good fun one. It was, a, it was a bit of a. It was an NPC heavier than usual session. Like a lot of the talky sessions will maybe have a conversation with one person, spend a lot of time venturing around figuring something out, go to another place. There tends to be like NPC break, NPC or NPC someone else is someone else with a different. But in this place, we were like, yeah, here's one NPC and another NPC on someone's shoulders, and we're going to go and see two NPCs. Um, so that was interesting, and it got like a bit of like NPCs playing off against each other with with CC and um, and uh, and Isabel and Isabel Furler. Um, I'm really yeah, enjoying no, that, like that post you shot in the back, Isabel. I'm not gonna lie. I am. I'm pleased <sighs> she took it so well. I mean, she probably didn't feel like she had a great deal of choice because she was obviously not in great shape. But you know, um, mm-hmm. but it was it was a fun, slightly more light-hearted session than I expected. Okay. We definitely got a hint of danger. Mm-hmm. With the reminder of Grand Dorwa mm-hmm. and his antagonistic relationship with Weird's previous incarnation, and we also sort of it does got... seem like a good like angle though, right? It does feel yeah. like a good angle to go down if you do want to get I, some kind of sure. like hold over Akaton. And um, we did get the, the hint of something being up with Zig. Now, is it literally just that he'll go there, he'll get his blood, and he'll go? Yeah, something's really weird. You don't it's almost know. like you've played a writing game before. <laughs> yeah, um, or maybe there's nothing, but they've pieced together who we are, and they're like, "Oh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll tell the other, you know, tell the other clinic that he needs to come here for his results." Well, like some kind of like clinic racket. Well, because Grinning Darwa is mm. running, and the I mean, clinics over there, right? Let's face it; it kind of feels like it's probably likely that that might be um, Green Dower's thingy. Seeing as the woman was like, "Ah, do you want? Do you need? Do you need cards?" Yeah. Um, so there definitely seems like there's a possibility of a connection there, and that there might be some sort of trap. Would I? Yes, and would we <laughs> ever? Uh, um, yeah, so that's things like CC. There's, how dare you slander? There's a sense of, of menace there, a sense of danger, but it's not like we don't really know exactly what's going on. So it's it's still a bit vague, but there's definitely a sense that there's something up there. I'm going to tell you uh, what's going to be up though. There's going to be a moment, right, where potentially we've got CC, Thanida. Isabel, Alice, and Finn in the one side. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so do you just want to just like but, listen to that recording when I upload it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just monologue to yourself. <laughs> you just soup up Zig so that you can touch everyone at once oh and my. just shut them all off. Oh my. Uh, no, that sounds good. Such was, a we had, uh, <laughs> we had a, a hint of some stuff going on internally with weird and uh and a little bit of a little bit of the sort of scheming side of of lyco while also getting to do some pretty wholesome stuff like with with cc yeah. um I, I it was nice it was like getting to remind people you know like like was quite a complex character he's 
he, yeah, there was compassion, not, right? There was a compassion to yeah. that. Um, also, yeah, I liked there was a nice mirror between you and Weird's medicals. I thought, um, <laughs> yeah, because it's like I'm going through all these unexpected changes um, that we have been cataloging in detail for years. Um, it's, you know, it's time to face the strange ch ch changes. Yeah. Ch 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 anyway, <laughs> and then um, there's a those are just like Sharon noises, and um, yeah. then with obviously like like weird scan it's like everything looks like it's supposed to be this way what is the issue and you're like my issues are that i didn't look this way before <laughs> and then his okay is this bad <laughs> and you're like no question mark and goes what about this drug trial <laughs> i'm glad you said no quite frankly. <laughs> yes, I didn't want to lose those arms. It's not guaranteed you would have. I didn't want to risk it. I think that's valid. Or pay a thousand Very valid. bucks for bad medicine. <laughs> Whoa. <-ho -ho. laughs> and less arms, quite frankly. I mean, no thanks. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there was there was a, a similar... Because there always are. There, there are a lot of parallels going on within the cast. Um... Yeah, obviously a little bit of plot and character advancement with Lyco as well. Mm. Um, nice throwback again, to his earlier medicals as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I get the sense like um, that, that that that's something that's building up to a crescendo at some point. Uh, maybe maybe there's a certain planet which might <laughs> you know. Did which you like, did you like the complete that, foreshadowing question of yes, can you expect yes. <laughs> any other? You know. um, so yeah, I, I think that's quite. Uh, I think there's also the lot of like not only in terms of like literal character development, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but there's also the possibility of some big plot developments there within the party and with external factors like the Bone Sages and yes. Yeah, so Eox is like this point in the future for Lyco that I know and I feel like he knows everything's sort of coming to a head there. That session's called Full Circle, by the way. You know that, right? Okay. Um, Just for him, at least. For him, at yeah. least. For other people, you know, maybe maybe next time we see Akaton, there's going to be something that we don't have a choice. Like, maybe, maybe you know, maybe Grinning Durba will have laid some sort of trap already, maybe he has, you know. But maybe we won't have a choice. Maybe we'll have to confront him. Maybe there's going to be something there. But I definitely get the sense, like, there's all these things coming up in the future and they might be different points for different people but i definitely feel like we're sort of gaining momentum and hurtling towards some big mm. stuff i uh, don't want to say revelations mm. because you know it's not like the cap's gonna have like a previous life to be revealed to probably i mean who knows mm -hmm. um but like you know I there's that sheet stuff of revelations yeah yeah there's 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 that possibility with with weird um, there's definitely stuff to be revealed for my character, Lyco. There's possibly still stuff for Zeg with the, the with the radiant slug cream and mm -hmm. grace and all that, <laughs> right? So I definitely feel like the uh, the grace storyline, the Eox storyline, the Ac I mean Eox again. Mm -hmm. There's a reason he knew about the electroencephalon. Like that's something that ties into his past life too. There's there's all, all these things. Um, and also, of course, the cap. Ver not verses. Um, they left verses, but there's you know, the event of triaxis. You know, why is the Mogesh there? Um, and that's connected to what's going on. So there's there's definitely a sense that there are going to be these moments coming. And, you know, who knows exactly what will ha happen, but I feel like we're starting to get a sense of what the future holds now. Good. Like, like this is... Uh, I like it's coming to a crescendo, and that, that's been a lot of fun. Um, the good thing is, as we saw from the timeline spreadsheet, you are in the future, so hopefully, by looking yeah. around, you'll see what it has to bring. Excellent <laughs> plan. Anyway, I will see the render of my time. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, just, you took other people's time, but yeah, sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> let's go with Weird next, shall we? Me? Yes. Me. Yes, me. Hi. Um... Hi, how you doing? All right, thanks uh, you. Yeah, not too bad. We made it through, didn't we? We did, did. Uh, got through to the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, no, thoroughly enjoyable session. Uh, I think it was a good mm -hmm. a bit of everyone jumping in. 
which is nice. Like, it was a nice well balanced sesh. Um, yeah, and it's, it's nice to have an opportunity actually to kind of bounce off, like in character, bouncing off Lyco. It's always fun actually. I always enjoy that because you know there's a lot of in character chat with Zig, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, I think that's kind of reinforcing their personalities more than joining our backstory. Mm. Like it often pulls out more backstory. Um, mm. With Captain, it's usually waiting for decisions and orders. Or expecting decisions, <laughs> looking at me like, Do yes. you deal with your child. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm also really enjoying the sort of parallel there between the Captain and, and CC to Weird and Zig. As yeah, they right. kind of graduated to buddy cop adventures. Mm hmm. And then we're watching the captain trying to figure out how to handle your overly powerful, small, furry psychic. Um, uh, it's it's hard. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, I am just I am just picturing a vest with the baby Bjorn on the front. At yeah. least your father, at least your sidekick can speak English. I'll speak common. He's just. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> Is what he said. Yeah. Uh, um, so that's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. And yeah, get, getting to visit some of our greatest hits of NPCs this session as well. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Morty, <laughs> the most uninspired yes. NPC ever. <laughs> <laughs> I did really enjoy it. I just couldn't resist. It's so I'm probably... a bit rubbery. Yeah. 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 It's good. Um, totally enjoyed it. I'm going to play that character next time. Excellent. I hope so. Um, I'll run that game. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, and being able to pull out a little bit more of a. I think the longer we're spending on Akaton, the more Akatonian he's becoming. I love it. I'm actually, I'm really enjoying the Akatonian effect that has happened yeah. to everybody, right? Like, I, I kind of do feel like everyone's kind of acclimatizing. It feels like the right place to maybe try and set up shop, to be honest. Everyone's mm. becoming just a bit more dirtbag. Mm-hmm. It's great. I think because um, you don't have to worry about carrying loads of weapons or like pissing off a cop, right? Like, yeah, it, there's a nice relaxed atmosphere to a degree that isn't, you know, it's very Wild West, uh, is the vibe I get from here. Yes, um, but with like you know self-appointed barons as opposed to, you know, actual sheriffs, I guess. And I think that's working. I mean, that's, yeah, that's pretty much the Wild West. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's particularly because we're four quite different characters that we play mm-hmm. that kind of each shine in different areas. So going somewhere where there's no real rules or system, mm-hmm. even if Weird's the one that knows what's up, there's not boundaries on limiting what the others can do. Yeah, um, and it's, it's been good to see um, other people flex that freedom to a degree, yeah, right? Because yeah. I did, I really like... Don't take Isabel shooting down the let's go trick Durwa to be Ryan shooting that idea down. I love the yeah. idea of you just, like supplanting him in some way. Um, but SK was just points. fucked up, right? She was like, what, why are we adding more steps to a plan that you said would take a couple hours and now feels like it's going to take a jailbreak? Like, yeah. like I feel like that was her. I did like your point when, couldn't you teleport? Like, that was just... <laughs> Like, yes, we have all had failings recently. Let's just move on. Yes. No, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think there were a few moments actually in the session where we had said something that came across almost harsher than mm-hmm. he intended it. Like, you know, when he was trying to subtly move into bribery and end up sounding threatening. If, do you know those bouncers, yeah. though? Wow. Um, yeah. That's <laughs> what I said it, and I was like, oh, I accidentally threatened you, and all I wanted to do was bribe you. Mm-hmm. Um, but you didn't understand it anyway. No, so he didn't. He, he definitely didn't feel threatened, that's for sure. Uh, uh, it was the, his interactions with Lyco, and he was just like, oh, that sucks, buddy. Like, because he died, <laughs> but he's standing in front of him, so obviously it doesn't connect. <laughs> yeah. You had to tell me if I'm being rude about Lyco as well. Um, be like, but he's dead. Mm. Please. <laughs> um, I don't know what counts as insensitive, Joe Barai. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I think being in hive market is. Uh, yeah, it kind of sounds like we're user looking to set up shop. That that's the vibe I've garnered. It sounds like an easy town to take over, right? Yeah, because there is no real law, except like whoever decides to like set themselves up the best, right? Mm. Um, 
So yeah, if he's going to knock over a grinning Durwer, that's prime real estate. Um, we we'll replace Smiley. So yeah, that's a. Uh, I think it's though, right? There is always the option to try and get in with or work alongside somebody like Grinning Durwer. It doesn't always need to uh, be supplant, right? I I would be on that point, though, man. <laughs> fuck the arms dealers, fuck the gangsters, man. We are the gangsters. <laughs> I do just want to replace him with the junk rats. <laughs> the new junk rats, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Replace him yep. with the new junk rats. I ain't yeah. captain. And, uh... <laughs> you want to captain yeah. this ship? That was the negotiation tactic I seen Lyco with uh, CC earlier with the voice. Well, you can't. Yeah, that was the vibe <laughs> I got. Um, but, yeah. Can we just. We can turn the. What is it? The car hole into a franchise? Mm-hmm. We'll uh, the car hole here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, we could just rename it the, the car hole to Hive Market and do it the reverse <laughs> way. This is our headquarters. We will open up hive markets across the solar system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like I'm it. Sure hive's good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing for the rest of the campaign. Just uh, setting up your infrastructure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it seems fitting, having now discovered this past relationship with Smiley. Yes, and I do <laughs> agree that you guys having the self-sustaining income would be good because mm-hmm. you could. I'm going to design something to to work that out. Right, I will design a yes. mechanism for me and use to know how that works, and it will be very simplistic. Um, but it, you will have an asset once you manage that, comma, yeah. maybe if. Um, and, and also, it feels like a nice moral imperative to do it. Cause... Yeah, right. Cause, yeah, you know, he seems like a bit of a Yeah, like he's. You definitely get the impression. I like think you're, you're accurate portray- Like, because somebody had described. I think it was you that said, um, like, kind of likes to feel, you know. Like he's the funniest in the room and the smartest in the room, etc. And yeah, like yeah. He's, he definitely had that vibe when he was just kind of laughing, like with his um, you know, his mooks, right? Um, so yeah. And that's definitely why I kind of get the vibe that the new junk rats. It wasn't just the stealing his horde, horde that was uh, mm. that upset him. It's that they got in, stripped it, got out. Yeah, it shows clean. him up, right? Yeah, it yeah. shows him up, and then didn't get, get caught. Yeah. Um, um, so it's probably it one those, th- it's one of the thorns in the paw, right? Um, yeah. In saying that, though, right? If he's wanted to try and get in with them, you could always just give them up. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Though. It is an option, though. But yes. Um, yeah. What I could do is talk them into you get them given up to get them inside, mm-hmm. and then surprise. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, um, um, you could even have Lyco try and get them all individually and coincidentally. Have bounty hunted mm-hmm. them all down. Ah, shrug. Orbital bombardment is new to the question now as well, right? Land <laughs> 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 yeah. the yeah. The new gun is a very long range. <laughs> Land the azure flare on top of him. I mean, there is that, right? <laughs> um, I was both talking about the fact that we've actually got a gunboat in space now. <laughs> there is that too, yeah. Um, accuracy is a bit of a bitch though from space sometimes um, yeah. but you know it's we don't uh, want to spend all our money rebuilding ah, laser, laser designators I'm, I'm sure we've got some I'm sure we've got <laughs> Alice some, hanging right? out the side of the, <laughs> the ship with like a tongue between her lips and like pointing the laser pointer <laughs> I do like that too. how about I just build a bomb and then hand myself in Sorry. And then just... how about I build a bomb is the start of most of your plans <laughs> yes. and then, you... then I go and hand myself in for the bounty Sit down and as have God a is this fuck. Uh, and then just pull a massive bomb out of the no space chamber and go, well, sorry. You're going to until the dragon blends out somewhere. Right, you watch those. We'll put the bomb in. I'm sure we can fair, find someone to put them. Like if, she, if S, sorry, I keep calling her SK, but if Isabel can get her fucking mech back, you have a mech. Yep. Like, there is that. I am too. a mech. You, you are also a mech, to be fair. That is true. So, like, between the two of you, you could probably just walk in and shut oh. the place up. Brian, I forgot that you know we haven't actually explored any of my mechanical abilities. Oh yeah, hundred really. percent. I can walk through walls. Oh my god. Yeah, I forgot about that. Guys. So yeah, hand me in, please. <laughs> Come again. Okay. That is a plan we will explore. That that is definitely a plan. We will we will yes. Is this your just yes, yes, we you will. have another like an actual ability that just lets you walk through walls. Like, well, it's the archetype that I applied, the mm-hmm. star right. 
you get to choose a material which you can apply to an armor, and one of the materials basically lets you walk through walls. Okay. Um, so, excellent. What, like, why was that? Phase through walls or bash through walls? Oh, phase through. Okay. So, I'll just. Well, yeah, I was going to say, pop all that in the chat for us, and we can all have a wee look over it um, and just yeah. laugh at how much user the plan has become. Um, yeah, I've got that head there, especially because it is one of those ones that's just, oh, I've just got this in my back pocket. We I do just... need to ascertain that there isn't any sort of defence they might have against it. Uh, yeah. Just use one mil level in one pose. <laughs> that's a, yeah. a proper callback. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have one pose situations everywhere. Oh, yeah. We are the wormhole situation. Sometimes you've got to be the wormhole. Uh, okay. Be the hole you want to see in that the wormhole. That is a... absolutely ridiculous. Yep. Um... <laughs> Alternatively, we hand over the new junk rats, then I walk through the walls with an armful of weapons. Yeah. Also good. Also good option. And can and you just... just put the entire party in the null space chamber, or can people not go in it? I don't think I can, also if my one isn't big enough, but we can upgrade it. Um, I mean... I'm sure we can sort something out. I mean, I mean maybe me Zix can crawl in. Yeah, or Alice could help. That's true. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I mean, Alice could probably make or, a door. I take the bomb, go in, hand myself in, have him doing his smug monologue over coffee. Then I put the bomb down and walk through the door, walk through the wall. Easy. Imagine though Which you had like you guys posters have... on the wall and you're like, fuck, I have to remove all the posters first. <laughs> you Sorry, guys will... I need to uh, take the wallpaper off. <laughs> Obviously, you guys will have barred the door from the outside. Obviously, yeah. This is when uh, Zora's hanging over the orbital bombardment button on the combs. <laughs> been like, uh, Finn, please, please, please prepare <laughs> the orbital bombardment. <laughs> Firing solution available. <laughs> So like, like, keep in mind, your, your asset list is potentially going to become Akaton soon, so it's, you have to keep thinking about this level of tech. Um, why wasn't yeah, that on the goddamn should... list, Alex? I mean, I, I also, can walk through walls. Um, yeah, I like that. Anything else you want to add to the wrap-up chat, mm. Alex? No, that's okay. Just remember I have that. Cool. Uh, you guys know I have that. Cool. Uh, and revealing oh. to everyone that I'm sort of, I've got that archetype. Uh, um, Zig? To take it up next. That was really fun. That was that was really really fun. Uh, <laughs> I um, I do I really 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 enjoyed the you know how to reprimand your skittermander. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> <laughs> so you've shot somebody. It was one of my favourite leaflets. <laughs> <laughs> <Again. Thank you. laughs> good. Oh, that should be a title. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. So you've shot somebody. Um, <laughs> It was fun. It was it was like it was a really good balance of like the whole thing was, you know, silly enough, but it, there was also just enough of like really cool, you know. Well, we used up all the dramatic um, tone budget in the previous session for the uh, yeah. massive like gambit that was described. So, um, but no, there was there was um, <clears throat> oh excuse me, <laughs> there was. Um, looks like a um, there was a, yeah. There was. It's was just. I just loved how there was just like a little bit of everyone, um, little like hooks and, um, backgrounds and story stuff just kind of coming through, and intertwining and coming together. It's good, <clears throat> it's good fun. Uh, it was just, it was just good fun. And that the the more I I really want what I want is a book of Lyco that I can sit down and listen to as an audiobook or something while I'm working, you know. Um give it time. Give like, it time. Yeah, just like fuck the rest of us. Yeah. Like just like so. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no I do. I do. Um, okay. um and yeah, I, I, I definitely I want a uh, I almost want to be C C D in in the sequel game, right? In the sequel oh. game. He's got, he's got life sorted out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knows how to live. You know, he's, he's got it made. What is Liv? He's got a mech. I mean, his mech is currently Zora. Like, <laughs> he's got two mechs. <laughs> oh dear. What? What is? I like that? to think a CC is an extension of myself now. Yeah. To be fair, I think CC feels <laughs> that way too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just really like the. GC just does everything I want to do. Yeah. 
I wanted it... to shoot the escape. I'm well, I would take. He did it. Good shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's your uncontrolled id. <laughs> <laughs> he is, so. Um, Who's uh, Super Ego? Um, is it me? You're looking That's for. That's concerning. Was the party as an entity? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh dear. Um, anything else you want to add? Zig? I mean, pretty much everything's been covered, I think. <laughs> but yeah, Including no, it was walking just through weird. walls. Walking through walls. Uh, I've added weird to the to the assets. Um, Excellent. Thank you. Uh, but no, but yeah, it was it was just overall really good. I actually really enjoyed the 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 chat at the start as well. Um, mm-hmm. Getting all our assets down on, on paper was kind of like, oh, actually, do you know what? We're doing not awful in, in the front of what we have. Well, you aren't like 56 sessions into a game with nothing. I think that's the highlight, right? Yeah. Is a, I wanted to make sure you were fully aware that you actually do have a lot of shit like, kicking about. Um, obviously, Carhole, I can't say, has made any money recently, right? But, you know, there is also the possibility that depending on what's happened on Versus, is it still in any kind of condition? Who knows? That's something you need to check mm. up on. We do obviously, check on Ivan's been manning helm since we've been gone, right? It's like, welcome! <laughs> welcome to car! <laughs> People dropping off their dropping off their vehicles <laughs> and then <laughs> a hat with a torch on it. Yeah, He's just eating their vehicles and spitting out a new one. He's like the ultimate repair man. Like... <laughs> I mean, I feel like uh, this is why it says infinite possibilities next to him as an asset. <laughs> I love how he has been the least explored entity of this entire game. You've had him from the start. I love him. He's great. We need him back, man. Like I, th- I think the mystery adds to it. You know, I mean, versus I think the whole end of this game. Ryan, we can't use him yet because he's Chekhov's gun. <laughs> he's how we're going to kill the bad guy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, <dude. I> mean... <laughs> Look, I... <laughs> that, do you know what? Keep it a mystery for me. Does Urgolas have any mechanical parts? <laughs> you will when I've metamorphosized him. Good, good. That, then that is is my power so you're going to trigger a second apotheosis? Yes. With Urgolas, and then hope to shift into just, like, a radio or something. As long as you keep pressing the random button over and over again, yeah. we'll get there yeah. eventually. Sure. I yeah. mean, if I mind link with him as well, you know, something bad will probably happen. Yes, the Guy sitting next to him on the bus might shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you've got that guy's like lawyer's number, right? Was it his brother? Um, that was a lawyer. Yes. So, like, there's that. I also just love that like weird has that like there's two voicemails out there in the world. Um, one to this sports celebrity, it's like parents, and the other one to um, was it the parents or the the agent? I think you lied to the agent, didn't you? I thought you lied to the agent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Their the agent text us. Mm-hmm. Yes, and Zig lied. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've done the parents. And now so we're back in Dazza where the uh, the shooter is. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. I still like the call, but there were so many callbacks actually to various things um, actually in this particular uh, session. I didn't realise how many throwbacks there were to things like, you know, other, like, sessions, quite frankly. Like, even SK saying, you know, how did I ever think we could all kill a dragon together? You know? <laughs> um, right down to, obviously, uh, you could get the bus. So, yeah. There's there was loads, actually, callbacks. Um, so, Zora? <laughs> uh, I, I never want children. Ever. Um, that seems fair. Uh, thank you. Uh, no, it was a really enjoyable episode. Episode. That's Keep fine. Keep on calling like oh, episodes, but it's know. fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, it was. It was just fun. It was. It was mind-boggling how to deal with a homicidal uh, six-armed koala. But like, I mean, we'll get yeah. there eventually. Like, I personally think he's completely, completely rational. That we're talking about. 
Um, uh, I mean, like I said, he just done what I wanted to do, but I could, I can't. Eh? But you also slowly, gave him permission to do what he did, so I mean, I, I mean, I, I said he could have a mech. I didn't see he could have her mech. <laughs> yeah, but hers was the closest. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> God damn six arm quals. Uh, Sometimes it isn't about how you join the dots; just that it's the closest dot. You know, that's. You know, perhaps absolute nonsense, but so is CC. So yeah, um, a lot of it was covered, but I did enjoy like all the throwbacks. The throwbacks were good, man. They, they were pretty funny. Like mm-hmm. uh, the church, the church, the church was pretty good, man. <laughs> <It's so> good. <laughs> 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 oh, that was pretty funny, man. No. <laughs> it's like we could go to the church. <laughs> ah. oh. Yeah, it was. <laughs> There was, in fact, God, I might actually re-listen to this just to note how many goddamn throwbacks there were, because, yeah, there probably were a <laughs> fuck ton more than I expected. Uh, it's, good. it's good to see the, the, well, I don't know about good, good's probably not the right word, but it's crazy to see that like was essentially turning into a bone sage. Lovely. Well, yeah, probably get that sorted, isn't it? That sounds I mean, a bit... I feel like a bone sage, I mean, especially <laughs> this way, right? How many... Uh, of my kind are they're probably not that many so they're not well studied but they probably tend to have a lot of contact with negative energy you know and it's not like something people go oh the bra yeah aren't those like baby bone stages mm-hmm. so that would be a good question type baby bone stage <laughs> so I you know I think there might be a little bit more to it than that um, also, that maybe... people definitely did not say any of that with confidence. More yeah. just trying to yeah, be yeah. optimistic for Lyco's sake, right? Because he's like, "You're probably going to die." Because we <laughs> do, we do know that. Yeah, what what happens canonically, at least. I mean, Ryan may choose to veer away from what it says in the book, but they live a few centuries. I mean, I have, like... I've obviously stuck entirely to the book. Oh yeah, hundred um, percent. The the um the, the they do have like a sort of expiration date because it's like they're slowly degrading over time. So they don't age, but they're kind of very, very slowly rotting. Um, Still susceptible to, well, body rot. <laughs> yeah. it's, but it takes centuries, right? Like they, they, they don't rot at the rate a normal corpse would. They rot at a dramatically reduced rate. Um, probably because negative energy isn't good for, like, germs either. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like there's a very good chance that this is stuff that other or I have experienced and not turned into anything lich-like. And after all, I'm not a magic user. Keep in mind as well, there's other Burai that are much older than Lyco, mm-hmm. right? That have existed as a Burai. Because how we know how old they get. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, it maybe isn't the worst idea to maybe seek out other Burai. Yeah, sure. Either. Um... Not necessarily an easy task. It'll probably wipe off. <laughs> the irony is, we're gonna do like some kind of horrible "this is your life" type. Go collect all the lost children of Sindial and then resurrect Sindial and be like, "Look, it's your kids." And he's gonna be like, "Yeesh." <laughs> <laughs> responsible for this, you deal with it, right? And then hand over CC. <laughs> <laughs> he had nothing to do with this. I know. <laughs> no, he's great. CC is good. Oh. He's just um, insane. I don't think he's insane. I think he's just got very, very poor impulse control and uh, makes weird decisions because his brain's, you know, so insane. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think he's probably a pretty weird scaremander, but I don't think he's. I don't think his impulsiveness and unpredictability. I use a term called person. outlier. He is an outlier. <laughs> yeah. He's probably an outlier in, in, in terms of his paranoia and violence. Yeah. Um, he, I mean, there's a concern to him, right? Like, I mean that in every sense of the interpretation, because he did, out of concern, give Zig a gun, right? Yeah, he, mm-hmm. he was nice, but you, you, you add, like, poor impulse control and paranoia to what is essentially a constantly hyper creature. Mm-hmm. Um, that obviously doesn't think as other humanoids do. They're, they just don't organise a society the way other humanoids do. They, they don't approach life the way other humanoids do. Yeah, also, they don't seem to have enough attention span to hold on to the paranoia either. Um, <laughs> yeah, which is nice. Um, he's, so, he's also so cute. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, right? Like, I absolutely love him as an NPC. He um, sleeps like Bobby. It's a uh, yeah. I like the initial fear of him eating the egg initially when he was going to eat the egg. It's like, no, it's because it's warm. Zuga! Yeah. Zuga! <laughs> but like, yeah. I was totally getting Jawa vibes, uh-huh. I'm not going to lie. I was <laughs> totally getting Jawa vibes, man. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I did say Zuga back in you know, that session. But like, yeah, uh, it's, um, I'm glad you have, like, connected with him. I love that you have spoke about nothing about why you wanted to connect with him since having him. I love that. Uh, we've taken some limited advantage of him, like, using him to contact uh-huh. us. But yeah, we, we definitely need to put his skills to use more. Yeah, and I think he's on to the right kind of idea of, like, he is better in a tech environment, not in, like, the desert. <laughs> um, so yeah, he is definitely an asset to be utilised um, yet to untold potential. Uh, <laughs> he's going to love Alice, though, isn't he? So mm-hmm. that's a thing. I think Alice is going to love him, so that's... Uh, two peas in a pod, quite frankly. Um, I, I think we're going to walk into a room and it's going to be trashed, Wendy. No, but what's going to happen is he's going to tell her that you're not allowed to blow stuff up or shoot people, and she's going to say, but sometimes it's okay to lie. Oh, no! To the... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Uh, anything else you'd like to add? No, no, that's um... fine. Yeah, I think most of these we covered, other than, oh no. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm glad we're ending on that note. Uh, thank you, everybody, for playing. It was a pleasure, and goodbye, everybody. Thanks goodbye. for coming. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye, people.